top of the table clash between the 4-0 Portsmouth Dreadnoughts and the 3-0 Somerset Wyverns. Uh, I'm joined today by Woolly Mike. Good He's afternoon back. everybody, I'm back, yeah. Spent last week at a games convention. But yeah, we're ready to go. So we just saw the coin toss there, Mike. I missed it because I was talking. Yep. What's happening? Who's Somerset won the toss and have deferred. Okay. And Portsmouth have elected to receive. Okay. I'll be on the uh, camera today, guys. So Mike will probably be doing more talking than me, which is uh, good because he knows the game better than I. Oh, well, I'll try and talk <laughs> more than you. I know. <laughs> uh, but this is set to be a fantastic game. Both teams very equally matched. Both very confident, you know, good good squad sizes. We were watching them in warm-ups. Um, we noticed the kicker for the Wyverns had an unorthodox swing to his leg, but he can't half belt the ball. Yeah. And uh, that's going to be interesting. Hit you know. a couple of 50 yarders, so kicking from yeah. the 40-yard line. Most of them had the distance, and the, some of them had the accuracy. So I'm expecting some good things there. So just setting up, we're in, in Hilsey, um, the northern part of Portsmouth. It's a lovely sunny day. It is. Sun's to our back, so we're going to be burnt a little bit. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And Portsmouth have really provided us a lovely, it's a two metre high, three metre square platform down at one end zone. So we've got a fantastic view, both for the camera and for ourselves. So, just waiting for the referee to get into position. And we've got roster numbers and names for everyone, haven't we? Yeah. Yes, thank Ooh. you to both teams for numerical rosters. So, Darren Urban's the referee today, John Ireland's our umpire, Gus McKechnie is our head linesman, and Simon Dobinson is our line judge. A big spe special shout out to Gus, because he does actually suffer from MS. Um, he does marathons. He does rowing. He's got a rowing boat named after him in Southampton. Oh, right. He was a torchbearer for both the Olympics and the Commonwealth Games. And he's, a, he's an ambassador for Southampton and he's a, he's a one all round fantastic guy. Yeah. And I've known him for many years from Southampton University Stag Stays. So, just waiting for everybody's in position. And where's Gus today on the, on the team? Is, Gus is the line judge on, on sorry, the, the down side. judge on the far side with the chains. Zoom in on him. There's Gus. Yeah. AKA Superman. Yeah. <laughs> Few people get confused because he's Ian, actually Ian Angus McKechnie, but everybody knows him as Angus or Gus. So gotcha. if you come from if you've been to Solent University, you'll know him as Gus the Bus. Because he used to drive minibuses for them. <laughs> I think he's got an honorary doctorate from Solent University um, for his, his work oh. as well. So you know, this this guy does everything for charity and yeah, so it's great seeing him out here and refereeing. Yeah. Not sure what we're waiting for? No, I can't see what we're waiting for. This is interesting. Uh, uh, the, the, far, the far judge over there, it looks like he's sinking, I think it looks like they're sinking up time watches. Is that, is that something normal? It looks like the line judge on this side is the guy that's got the game clock. Yeah, okay. So, he was... Here we go. Everyone's just sort of brightened up a bit. Probably making go. sure he's got 15 minutes on the clock. So, short kick to the left, fair catch signalled, and caught there. So it looks around about the 35-yard line. Uh, and I'll be keeping an eye on the, uh, the chat today, guys. So if you've got any comments, if, you, if you've got any shout-outs, telling us where you're watching from, you want to know what the rules are, something said you didn't understand, let us know. Oh, the, the audio's very scratchy, people are saying. Okay, cool, let me have a little, let me try and fix that first. Oh, I can hear that straight away, sorry. So... We've got two backs, two receivers over to the quarterback's left-hand side. Sam Scott, Royal Navy QB for Portsmouth starting this series. Right, Wing back in motion, looking to throw. Deep to the outside, caught by number 36. Harry Dickinson. Hopefully the... Uh the audio is now fixed, or is, or is at least more palatable. Guys, let us know yeah. if it's still scratchy or something wrong. But uh, thanks, Levi, for pointing that out. 
So swing pass up to the uh, left hand side into the flat there for uh, 10 yards. First down. First down on the first play. Good, good little start yeah. for the uh, for the Dreadnought. Looks like they're on the 42 yard line now, going in. It's only a 90 yard field here. So the receiver goes in motion, hand off, bounces to the outside. Uh, so number 33 there, Paddy Chapman. Number two with the uh, with the last push. Um, to get Chapman out of bounds. Uh, I think he was the safety for, for the Wyverns. I'm not sure. Sean Tapp in there. He got his name. Cool. Tommy Weeks, number 88, touchdown in incoming, someone's just said. They need oh. to be on the field first, because I think. <laughs> someone's asked me what's for lunch. Well, I've got blueberries and I've got tomatoes. I'm, I'm trying to eat healthy. So cheers, Nathan. Um, I'm sponsored by Ginsters and um, <laughs> co op jam tarts. So. Two receivers, two backs, receiver in motion. 33 with a carry again. Short gain now. Good defense, good defense. I, I, I feel like they, they've sort of tightened up over the last few plays, been a bit more stingy uh, than, than that obviously opening, opening play uh, first down. But uh, you know, obviously still a lot to, lot to go here, but it'd be good to see. I think, I think we need to judge the game on how each series ends. You know, like, is, are they scoring series? Or do, or, or do we get turnovers on downs and stuff? You know, I think I think that's sort of what we're going to have to do here, rather than just look at individual yeah. individual efforts or individual. Um, I think obviously the two right. teams they're, they're they're sounding each other out. So two receivers to the right, single back with a wing tight. Sam Scott takes the ball, takes the hand off. He's under pressure, throws it away to the outside. Number eighty-eight there. For Portsmouth and, and number 99 was the uh, the pursuing D lineman for the Wyverns. Ben he, Nation. He's a he's the size of a nation, isn't he? Jesus, <laughs> what a big guy! You can see him there, just towering over his uh, his teammates on the line. Um, and he looks he looks an athletic type. I'm, you yeah. know, I hope we will see a lot more of him this game. But uh, he's, I, he's, I, he's been he's been a feature so far. I'd say he's been he's been in and around everything so far. Of course, in the past, I have coached down here at Portsmouth, um, but I've got a fair few good friends on the Somerset sideline as well. Um, they do have some, some, some nice bodies on the line. So, a pull there, QB keep. Sam Scott's lost the ball, but no, bounce forward. Number five's got the ball. Wow. Down to the 15-yard line. See, that, that's, when, that's when football games are... Uh, uh, you know, you're gonna, everything's going well. Like you know, even even the mistakes get you yards. Yeah. You sort of can't go wrong. Um, very very fortunate play, but you know, also they had to execute, right? Yeah. Still still had to pick it up, still had to run with it, um, and it and it gave uh, it was a bit of a handful for the Wyverns there. So we're first. Oh, there's a uh, ref little break here. Let's see yeah. what they say. But um, we're first and ten. We're in the red zone, just shy, just in the red zone. Oh no, we're well in the red zone. Yeah, we're at about the um, 13 yard line. Yeah. We've got Matthew here saying, let's go, Ben. I'm just going through the comments now. It's apparently it's 20. Ah. Okay, so if you've ever seen. They've already okay, moved the sticks. Yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll reset because the eclipse should be in the right place. On, I didn't realise if it was fourth down, I wasn't paying attention. Slap on my wrist. If you ever see the referee does a cross sign yeah. and then he rolls his arms before the fourth down, yeah. it means the clock must stop and fourth down rule is in play. On a fourth down rule, yeah. only the person that fumbles the ball can pick it up and advance it. Right. Um, and because it was touched by another person, it's therefore a dead ball. And so it was where the QB lost the ball because he can't gain the advantage of the forward fumble. Right. So Sam Scott looking to pass out to number 36, intercepted by number 32. That's Tom Seeger there. Great way for them to end that end that series. Uh, so a non-scoring series, right? Yeah. Non-scoring series for the for the Dreadnoughts, but a great way to end the series uh, for the Wyverns. So they got an interception. They got better field position out of it, roughly midfield, and they've got a buoyant offence coming on. Yep. Looking to see what sort of offence we've got. Now, somebody somebody on the stream is, is, is no Somerset. I think number 10 was formerly their under-19 QB. And 
It appears to be, I think that's a Leeds Carnegie Chargers helmet he's wearing. Right. So, you know, let's just see, change the set. So first down. What's the so key again, name? single back with that little wing, wing to the right. Look to the pass over to the left, caught by number 14. Tom Bowering. Seager, my man. I assume that's the, 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 the that was the intercepting player, was it? Seager. 32, yeah, Seager. Oh, Seager, yeah. Number 10 QB of Plymouth Plymouth Blitz. At Bucks. Ah, okay. Plymouth Blitz, thank you. Cool, cheers, Nathan. Oh, Mr. Coates on the line. Afternoon, yeah, Mr. He's Coates. Here. He's the one asking me about my food. <laughs> <laughs> so, twins to the left, one receiver wide out. Hand up to up the middle to number 21. Oh, he's still on his feet. Yeah, he was. Caught in the backfield, but he turned back, back yeah, over for the advance. He ended up with a body in front of him, didn't yeah. he? And then just sort of, sort of half span, half ran back around it, but managed to stay on his feet throughout. And that brings up, what's that, second down and five? Yeah. Looks like he used the defender as a, as a shield there from other defenders from, yeah. 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 <laughs> Lead block. Okay, so two receivers wide out to the left, single back with the wing back to the right of the quarterback. High snap. The counter play there is well read by number 94. I'm just going to see see if we've got a... This is our rep, uh, replay of that play. Not that much happened, but I just want to check out our Reece replay. Millen there, number 94 for the uh, Dreadnoughts. That's what I'm calling the other team today. Obviously, there are a few uh, university players here. Portsmouth Dreadnoughts. You see a Chichester helmet on the Portsmouth Deef side of the ball. Two receivers left. The back's tight to the quarterback there, number one, and 21 behind him. Little pass out to the outside, overthrows his receiver, number 81. We've got a little bit of love, a little bit more love for the Wyverns in the chat. M Matthew Gill here, Ian McCandy again with the Go Wyverns. Um, more support picking up, and then Nathan saying that Tom, uh, sorry, uh, I think he said Tom Seeger, but he said very good return man. Uh, Tom Seeger is a GB free safety. Ah, thank you for that. Yeah. So he here we go then. So fourth and seven, fourth and eight from about the 25 oh, yard their, line. They got their man. Oh, Jesus here we Christ. go then. So number 33 we said there. About the leg, didn't we? We said about the leg. Watch his Luke Lambrinks. Here we go. He swings his leg like a bat. I don't mean the animal. I mean like like you would swing a baseball bat. Little chip, it might be, it's, it's not, short. It's not good enough, and it's fielded. That means, well, why is that whistle blown? Wouldn't that have been? Did, if he took possession in the end zone. Oh, then you can't take it out of the end zone. I didn't know that, I thought you could. Okay, let's see. Yes. So the ball should come out to the 20 as a touchback. Yeah. Yeah, no, I didn't realise. I didn't realise it was. Uh, I didn't know about that rule. So if you catch it in open field, yeah, you can run it back. But if it's caught in the end zone, that's that's considered a touchback. Got more support here for the Wyverns. I can only tell because of the uh, the dragon logo, and then. Same, Caitlin uh, Alice is supporting the Wyverns as well. So we've probably we got a lot more Wyvern supporters on stream because obviously we're this an away game. Uh, we've got some good. Sorry, just listening for the ref. Yep. Yeah. So they call it an inverted whistle. So the, the referee was calling it as a, a dead ball. Oh, right. And it, what, so, so he shouldn't have called that. So he shouldn't have called it. that. Okay. So. It's still, no, it's still like, so it was an inadvertent whistle. So, yeah, cheers for clearing that up, Nathan. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, awesome. So, it still comes out to the 20, same as a fair catch, so. Right, so, so ball is now in, back, second series now. So, that's two series we've had, one for either team, no score. Yeah, if you tuned in to the, um, the game yesterday, Lions versus Leeds, it was, oh. it was a score fest. Score fest. Yeah, yeah, I think they probably, each team scored on every... Uh, every series for the first half. Yeah, and it was two point conversions that set the tone there. Yeah. But then, you know, that, that's nine aside, so there's less players on the field, same yeah. size field, but that was a hell of a game. 
That was a hell of a game, that. If you haven't watched it, you can catch it on our on our YouTube channel. Uh, yeah. Go back and watch it. It was definitely worth watching. Uh, very high-scoring game. Right, second down and ten. Two receivers out to the right. So they've got a single back and then they've got a wing back out behind the right tackle who now goes in motion across the left of the field, turns upfield, passes to him. Incomplete. I've got Ollie DeRoyter in the comments. Uh, hey, Ollie. Saying he's uh, back in Sam Scott, the Dreads QB. He says he's a top bloke and a great mate. And then Steve Woods, who I assume might be uh, related to Woody, the head coach of the Dreadnoughts. He could, I may be wrong, but he's saying, come on, Dreads. Yeah. Send out best wishes to Ollie. Obviously, he's, he's a Sealand Seahawk quarterback. Um, I'm wearing my Sealand hat today. You certainly in, are. In honour. So, right, two receivers out to the right. Got that wing back again. Look to pass to number eight. It's caught for a short gain. That's Kieran Hopley, number eight, with a completion. So, fourth and five. And they're punting it. I just yeah. heard a punt call from the sideline. So, yet yeah, another turnover on downs here. So, they're on their 25-yard line. And they didn't they didn't gain as many yards. Like, this was a three and out. It wasn't a, a nice drive like the, like the first yeah. series was. This was a very quick three and out for the for the Dreadnoughts, which so obviously plays into the Wyverns' hands. Yeah, we've seen, the, obviously, the Wyverns' defence is adjusting to their, their play. Here we go. Good kick. Drifting off to the left-hand side. Bounced it around the 30, and out of bounds at the 22. Not bad, similar for starting field yeah. position to, that the Dreadnoughts had. Again, talking about styles, the um, Dreadnoughts kicker, I think he's a, foot, a soccer goalkeeper. I'm going to say soccer. And you can see a little bit of that in the way he, he bumps his ball. So, Wyvern's second possession. They've actually spotted the ball on the 23-yard line. We've got a very, very active uh, comment section today. Keep it up, guys. Really, really appreciate it. I'll keep putting the comments up. I won't talk about all of them. I'll just keep flashing them up. But yeah, let, let, let's, uh, let's, let's keep this up and let the guys know that you're backing them. So, run up the middle. Nice cut. Oh! 41 there with the tackle. Beautiful run there. Beautiful run. Lucas Kane with the tackle. Is it number one for the And Vikings? Ross Owen, number 21. Now, number one's setting up as like oh, a wing, wing QB, back yeah. off to the side of the quarterback. Sometimes he's right close, and then he goes into that wing back position yeah. behind one of the tackles. Oh, so, yeah. But he's, he's calling the play in the huddle. Yeah. That's really strange. Ma maybe, maybe he's the that. other quarterback. Yeah, it could be. Okay, so here we go then. Number one gets the ball. He, he swarmed the there. Maybe a gain of about two yards if he's made it to the to the line there. Is number zero Pompey Kicker? Yes, he is. That was the guy that um, uh, that, that Willie James was Driscoll. About. James and, uh, Driscoll. Very strong leg. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here we go. It's a great running. So what, we're second and about eight, are we? Second and nine. Second and nine. So, QB back to pass, looking outside. Throwing to number 14 again, it's complete. Lovely catch. On. Lost the ball. <laughs> My God. Did they, they well, call that well. incomplete? Did they call that incomplete? Yeah, it looks yeah. like they're signalling an incomplete pass. So no turnover there. I think that's... Uh, a uh, huge sigh of relief for uh, for that for that receiver. Number fourteen for the. Uh, yeah, so Tom Bowering is the was the receiver on that, and Lucas Keynes had the ball in his hand. Okay, so second down. So we. Uh, Dan, uh, ref, the referee here just uh, correcting the uh, down marker. It had it on second. Now flips over the third. So one, one of the things here, we have number one lined up to the left of number 10. They often use that as a blue formation. And then when he lines up, oh, it'll incomplete to number 88. When he lines up to the right, they call it brown. So you've got brown and blue okay. because the second letters are R and L. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So it's not quite the old pro set or the, the, the two back sets that you used to see. So, so we bring on, uh, this is a different. Um, 14. Uh, a, yeah, 14 is the one that dropped so, the ball. <laughs> yeah. On the pass, so is it a receiver? Um, that's back uh, I'm sure the defender will say it was screen. defended rather than. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was, I was just so, being nice. Tom Bowering, we've got a man in motion now coming up to do a blocker. Low snap. Gets it off nicely. Gets it off off the side of his foot. And it looks like he, you know, it looks like he, that was a directional kick to be aimed straight out of bounds. So trying to avoid the return man there, number five uh, for the Dreadnoughts. As a special teams coach, I think it came off the side of his foot and he got lucky. Do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I stand to be corrected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, we'll see. We'll but it is still it. advantageous. It's around about the 15 yard line. <clears throat> so. Yeah, first and 10 now, third. So this is the third series for Portsmouth. Uh, and both teams completing one series each. Uh, and still no points on the game, but there's a lot of football to be played. We're in the first quarter. So Portsmouth come out. Oh my God. Two receivers to the right, single back, and they've got a, a wing back on the left behind between the tackle and guard position on the left there. Sam Scott QB, hands off. Well run there by the linebackers for a Somerset. Jack Hunt has popped up and said, unless they've changed from last year, number zero is actually Stephen Mothorpe. Is that right? Uh, Semi-pro goalie. For Somerset, Stephen Mothorpe. Um, I don't know. Stephen Mofort is zero for sorry. Portsmouth. Ah, Portsmouth. sorry, yeah. Apologies, I've got two rosters. So James <laughs> Driscoll is number zero for Somerset. Ah, right, okay. Apologies, thank you for the correction. Cheers, guys. When you're flipping between two sheets, you forget which well, one. Well, we need to have different colour paper. That's, that's the other yeah. way you do it. <laughs> okay, so two receivers to the left on second down and nine. Run up the middle again, stuffed again by the linebackers there. Well read. Very, very good in the box play for uh, for the Wyverns so far. I think they've stuffed everything that's been between uh, that's play, been between the tackles. Yes, you know, they're, yeah, they're reading it well very now. Very good. Of course, this is the thing we expected this to be a tight game, and it, it's it's how they adjust. Uh, Caesars, Nottingham Caesars, forty-one. Samuel Steelers, zero from uh, elsewhere in the league. Uh, Bradley Barker there just explaining that number five is a monster returner, so it could be that that kick was um, kicked up, was purposefully kicked out out of bounds to avoid him. Well, time out on the field at the moment. Yeah. So Scott Moore with a. Uh, uh, so just listening to the ref. 4:50 left to go in the quarter, um, and. Uh, yeah, Scott Moore, I've just put up on, he said, so, uh, solid Somerset D so far. Yeah, well, they, they, I wouldn't say solid all round, no. Um, they, 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 there was a quite a long drive up, up the field. They did do a really nice three and out in the second series. Um, but yeah, like they, they, I, I would say solid stop in the run between the box, between the, uh, b between the tackles. In the the good play down here, was a, it was a play action, so they, they yeah. Made the look of the run and then they dropped. The ports have connected for a couple of nice passes yeah. as well. So, so uh, yeah, let's see what. Third and 14, spread formation now. See what Sam Scott can do. Fakes the handoff, looking out to the outside. Throws to number five. Oh, straight through his hands. Let's watch that again. Now, it's interesting there is number 13's on the ground and makes contact with him. Yeah, he's, well, he slips. 13 yeah. slips, and his legs actually. I think he pushed his legs into the player, but yeah, yeah uh, I think I think it was more of an not all, deliberate, but no. as I say, it did interfere with it. Well, no, I think he. Well, watching it, I think he did actually swing his legs into him deliberately. Yeah. But it, you know, I don't know. I, I could see that being an either way thing. Yeah. Would you have called that, Mike? What I, would you I, have no, I just say because I, I think it looked, for me it looked a, a accidental. So yeah. Because number five was still able to get up and attempt the catch. So yeah, right. Yeah, so punt okay, formation, cool. late, There's late person no arriving. Good snap. So a drive. Takes a good bounce. Picked up by number 32. 
Tom Seeger again, tackled around about the 33, 34 yard line. And first man on that ball there, he didn't, he didn't bring Seeger down uh, alone, solo, but he kept hold of him until his help arrived. And took yep. very quickly, two other dreadnoughts straight on it. And yeah, he must have, must have gained about three yards after point of contact, but, but very, very good coverage there on special teams um, from, uh, from, from the dreadnoughts. Yeah. Well, that's what you want is that, you know, get a piece of the man or at the very least make him change direction and slow yeah, him down slow him for down. the support. Yeah, yeah, and that's exactly what happened. I, I, so you know, we've yeah. got 89 now in this, the, the, the wing back on the right oh, of the yeah, quarterback number 10. Boy. So Ethan Best QB hands it to number 21. Well stuffed there. Oh, helmet comes off in the tackle. <laughs> He's all right. The, 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 uh, the dreadnought sideline obviously making a, a, a lot of fuss over it. Um, but uh, Marvin Tohal there with the tackle. It's a, we'll just consider it a weak chin strap, all right? So the player, in that instance, so you can see number 21 trotting off there. If your helmet comes off during a play, you have to go off for the next play. You can't stay on the field. Unless it was comes off by cause of a penalty. R ripped off. So, yeah. so, so if, oh, if, if it comes off as part of a face cage, you can stay on. Yeah. But if it comes off accidentally... Steve Woods has said Wyverns have got 12 on the field. I didn't see. So that player shouldn't have gone off then. Yeah, so he can come back on, yeah. So he could come back on for this display, yeah. number 21. Okay. Yeah. So that's a yeah, 15 yard penalty, first down. Portsmouth don't want to make a, they want to make that their last penalty of the game, right? But you can't have penalties this yeah. game. We've, uh, we've seen it in so many games, is you, uh, you give advantage to the other team for a penalty. But just to remember, you can tackle somebody by the helmet as yep. long as you don't pull on, put your hands in an opening. So if you yep. bear hug the helmet yep. Yep. and it comes up, it's not a penalty. But the referee on the far side. So spread formation, short pass out to the outside. Oh. Incomplete. Again, should see the DB celebrating that. <laughs> Daniel Turney this was the intended target. Uh, someone in the comments saying that his helmet comes off a lot. So we'll, we'll say we'll say it's chin strap uh, more than uh, more than the, the hits he's receiving. Oh, we've got some Harry bow. Yeah, we've just been donated a bag of Harry bow by the um. So a little bit of uh, support here from Big Big Up Cycling. Go wide. So here we go then. Up. Two receivers to the right. Number one's back in in the wing back. Motion across the formation. Sets up. Pitch out to number 21. Lovely play there by the Dreadnought. I think that was the outside line. Aiden Lee Panda there. Fantastic read. Just brilliant. Completely shut the thing down. He was. He was, he, I'll tell you, he was a half a step behind the, yeah. the, the running back as he was running out, but perfect, trailing him and then sped up um, and, uh, and brought him down. Yeah, as Probably, I say. Probably, what, a three, four-yard loss? Yeah, so Aidan Lee, or Panda, as most people know him. Um, again, he's, he's connected with the Royal Navy football coaching staff. So second down and 13 and because of that play. Oops, and the clock stops. Yeah, Nathan there saying great contain. Yeah, absolutely. Just perfectly read. And he's the middle linebacker. I thought it was an outside fit based on his position. Uh, so maybe it was the outside backer taking the lead block away that, that, that freed him up. I'd have to watch it back. But Re Remember, when, when they go into this slot formation, the outside linebacker comes you out and supports. Yeah, yeah. And then... Oh, so he could have dropped back in the coverage. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, so pressure off the end here. Well read. That was on... Just Number two there for Portsmouth, uh, Samuel Penn. Just the ball went into his hands. Is well, that an incomplete? No, it's a complete pass. Hold on. It's. I, I think it was a. Well. He dropped the ball from this angle. Uh, they're punting anyway, but from this angle, it looked like the the, the Wyvern's receiver the, dropped the, the ball the, the, and, the, and it went into the hands the, of the Wyvern lost possession. Yes. Well, I don't um, know how they give that. It's not. Yeah. It wasn't an incomplete. It wasn't a complete pass. That's crazy. Okay. So happens. here we go then. Number 14's back to oh, yeah. punt. Big man with a big leg. Let's see if he punts it straight out of bounds. Yeah. Tom Bowring. 
What's he doing? That one's gonna go into the end zone. No, it's been tough. Oh, they got it. So down on the one yard line. Great, great punt and punt coverage there from the Wyverns. Um, they, uh, yeah, the, it looked like number five from the Dreadnoughts. Uh, sorry, I don't know the, num uh, the names here, but it looked like he went to pick it up. But There's Jean Jackson there, number five. He sort of bobbled it and then ended up diving on it. Um, yeah. So not really, not a great play there from uh, uh, from the special teams of the Dreadnoughts. If it had left it, I think it would have gone into the end zone yeah, that's anyway. It. Yeah. So it should, should have got away. Could, yeah. But when, when it slows down in that one or two, you get you get indecisive. Yeah. You know, you're so they're starting now on about their own two. Nathan, they're saying incomplete from Plymouth. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. As, as I say before, though, is it's what the referees determine and what yeah, they I, see. I, so. think, I think from the camera, we just had a yeah. lovely angle of yeah. it straight across. And that, obviously, none of the refs have got that angle. And they go off what they can see, right? They're not trying to call it wrong. They just did. Yeah. <laughs> So a little shift on the defensive line there. A lot of pressure from from the uh, uh, from the Wyverns D line there, which you'd expect. They're, they're going to go for the the two pointer, right, to safety. Yeah. Um, so. so nice safe run for three yards. So I, I I think Portsmouth would do well here when if they were set up on I don't know, let's say the right side hash to do uh, a, a nice sweeping run with a, with a, with a, like maybe like a jet sweep. With a receiver, um, you know, run out into space because when well, they're running into running into the mixer here between the tackles, they're not really getting much. The the only success was those little passes into the flats to the slot receiver. Yes. Slot receiver comes in motion, yeah. sets up tight. Again, another run, some good blocking this time. Lovely blocking. Number thirty-three. That's Paddy Chapman there with the carry. Number five is called DJ. Thank you. Yeah, reverse by five. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I just didn't want to say the uh, the player's name, but yeah, he's, he's he seems quite nippy. Uh, maybe, I wouldn't say a reverse. I think with a reverse, the ball stays a bit too long in the backfield. I think with a nice jet sweep, just pitch it forward to him because obviously if he drops it, it's an incomplete pass. And then yeah. he's got he's got yeah the you know, little, little, little boot pass there. forwards always always good. So yeah. third and about four yards. Receiver goes in motion across the formation to the left. Run again. Bounces outside, breaks the tackle. Nice. Exactly what they needed here. Yep. Making the first couple men miss. Uh, so Paddy Chapman there with the first down, going to the outside. And that moves the sticks. So we get a first down. So good little drive here from, from Portsmouth to get themselves out of danger. They're still deep into their own half. Ball's on what, about the 15 yard line. So Stephen Jones asking a question here. If Somerset get a tackle or a sack in the end zone for safety, will it be referred to as an own goal? <laughs> yes. That is that is the that common parlance. That, that depends. <laughs> um, if it's a bad snap or, or something else, then yeah, you can put it on the offense, giving it away. Low snap, quick pass deep to the outside to number five. Incomplete. So that's DJ Deshaun Jackson again. I've got to say, so far, the defensive backs for the Somerset Wyverns have been very, very good. Yes, they, there was there was the first play where there was a deep, like, not a mid-range ball. It was in the flat, so it would have been, that would have been the linebackers. Yeah. So. yeah, but, the, like, you know, when, they, when the QBs had, like, three, four seconds uh, and, and more to, to look around and pass, the DBs have been really tight on the receivers. It's been really yeah. good. So, second down and 10 from around about the 15-yard line. So spread formation, number eight goes in motion across to trips onto the right now. Keep by number 33, nice low tackle Lovely there by tackle. number 31. That's Richard Howlett. Didn't fall for the misdirection and just went yep. like, it didn't look like he had any hesitation in his run there to tackle straight in, got him, got him pretty much at the line of scrimmage it looks like. So. Third and eight now. Probably approaching the end of the quarter soon. We only had four minutes on the previous change of possession. So, again, spread formation, single back. Number 31, Richard Howlett is a beast. Yep. I assume that's the, uh, 
That's the guy who made the tackle, yeah. So there we go. There is the end of the quarter. End of quarter. Well, well called. Look at you. <laughs> right, let's... Uh, so it's nil-nil. I'm surprised it's nil-nil. Um, but good game so far. Interesting stuff. And it feels like the teams are figuring each other out now and we'll start seeing different types of play. Yeah, well, the... Somerset have got the, the mixed plays. Um, they've, they're more balanced on the pass run. And they had the one good pass, and there's several drops that have probably could have been uh, kept their hands on and control. So. so there we go, at the end of the first quarter. So, spread formation, number 33, single back. Just a little delay there. Okay, so here we go then. First play of the second quarter. Third and seven for Portsmouth. Motion man. Sam Scott looking to pass. Incomplete. Change of person on. Personnel now for the pump formation. So twelve men on the field for Portsmouth there on this punt. Portsmouth definitely the less disciplined of the two, picking up the more more penalties, aren't they? Yep. Uh, of the two sides. Yeah, it drives the special team. You, you know, everybody knows that they're on the special teams or not, but as players sort of like rep out for tiredness and that, they they replace themselves. Okay, so the ball's been picked up and returned. Oh, solid tackle there, but he stayed on his feet. So again, good coverage downfield. Oh, a lovely message here from Kelly Jones for uh, Ollie Jones, number 73 for the Wyverns. His little boy, Archie, uh, who's age four, is watching from home and he says, love you, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> hello Archie. Yeah, hello Archie. Thanks for watching, mate. Now I want the Wyverns to win. <laughs> <laughs> Archie says. Yeah. Okay, so. Looks like they're on their own 38-yard uh, line for this. Spread formation, single back. Looking to pass over the middle to number 14. 14 was a little bit slow on the run there, I think. One of those, almost like a timing pattern. Uh, Nathan's hypothesised here, with Pompey having a strong running attack, it's setting up a play action for 5 or 12 deep. Yeah? Yeah. But you don't want to wait too long, because you don't want that to be when you're chasing the game, you know? Very true. OK, so... Single back. I'm oh, sorry, two... Two back with the wing back formation on. Run over to the left hand side, he's broken. 
tackle there and whatnot before we got the first down, around about the 40-yard line. Dan Witchy with the tackle there for Portsmouth. Archie Jones's team, first and ten. Kaylin, <laughs> Kaylin Grant with the carry. They get the ball into uh, into Portsmouth territory. This is probably the best field position they've had. Oh no, they did have the field goal, didn't they? The yeah. other end, so that was better. This is, but this is um, this is good field position for them. Yeah. Right? They're, they're, I don't think they've spent much time in Portsmouth's half so far yeah. on offense. First down on their 38 yard, the 38 yard line going in then. So two two receivers to the left, wing back to the right, the quarterback. There is the reverse, number 86. Really, well nice, read. really nicely covered here. Um, let me see if I can watch that. We can watch that back. But just watch the Portsmouth players here. Stand their ground. Sorry. Number 24 gets blocked. Gets off the block from number 81, and he makes the play. But everyone pursues really nicely on that play. Fantastic coverage, and it was good for less than a yard. Yeah, you know, a lot. That's a lot of running and a lot of play. Um, As uh, you said, you see how slow it was, and the, and the players slow. read. When we coach the defence, we talk BCR, boot counter reverse. So the backside players keep reading to see why the change is. So good solid run up the middle there. Takes the ball to about the 31 yard line. And the, the, you know, the only criticism I'll have of that reverse play being called was that it was to the narrow side of the field as well. The ball, yeah. was, on, the ball, the ball was on the near side hash. Um, so yeah, the side, the, side line becomes a defender's friend. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's, now, it's yeah. the narrow side of the field, essentially, for those that don't so fully understand that. A little bit that. of indecision there. Oh, oh, Caught by number 88. Ooh! Well, he takes a bit of a hit there at the end by number two. Legal tackle, all fine, but... Uh, yeah, so Tommy Weeks there with the completion. Right on the red zone, 19-yard line. Uh, Ed Myers, number 18, from Mum and Dad watching from the beach in Barbados. No. I don't know what team they're from. Let us know what team that is, uh, Elizabeth. Might be able to see on the roster. Number 18. Ed. Ah, yes, yeah, so that's Portsmouth Redwoods. Yeah. You don't need to let us know. I found it. So here we go, we'll first down. Barbados. Run to the outside. There is a late flag here. Yeah. Could this be for a low block? No, the. I didn't really he looked see at, much. Looked, looked in front of his tackle, but there was three tacklers there. So. Let's see what the ref says. Base cage again. Just to show you on the stream, look, that's where the end zone is. This, uh, yeah, this pylon and down marker. So they've got the ball's now moved half the distance to that because it's um, so close, and um, so they get a so fresh set of downs. Line. So it's now first and first and goal from the eight, six, seven, eight, yard, seven yard seven line. Seven yard line. Yep. Wow. So here we go then. Spread formation, goal. single back. Yeah, fade to the corner on the outside. Ball. And it's a touchdown. Is that number 14? Yeah. It looks like it. Wow. So, first on the board. And again, it's 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 penalties that um that, that really don't help the Ports of Dreadnoughts, you know, it's uh and it's something they're gonna have to tidy up. And there there, are, there is a complaint from the sideline uh, towards the ref about something yeah. I can't hear it but uh, the, the top but they're, they're saying there was there was a contact to the push off before the play obviously I, I can't say what we, we're from our position no. but so but the Wyverns first on the board and they're going for two it looks like it's a, with, with there being a huddle yeah, yeah. Right, let me zoom out a little bit here so we get to so, see a bit more oh, sorry about that pole <laughs> two backs quite close I think we're going to get a six oh, they just try to drive it across the line from the three yard line. Optimistic to do it from the three, yeah. that the eagle snake there. Yeah. And the QB didn't get involved in that. So, 6 0, uh, second quarter. Um, and 
the Wyverns are going to now kick the ball off to Portsmouth. But uh, yeah, that it, it feels a bit flat on this sideline, that this Portsmouth sideline that we're on, and I don't think it should be. I, I think you know, yeah, you've, you've conceded a touchdown, but this game, this game could go either yeah, way. Like this game isn't over by any stretch. I think there should be a lot more optimism in this side. Hopefully, yeah. we, get to, we see that in the play. And, and that, that, that's the manner of team, you know. I, I suppose some teams, you know, in any sport, you, you go one score behind and you're already thinking that the game's lost and then you don't play to your performance. So it should spark you now to be more aggressive. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, th these face, yeah, two, someone just said, two face mask calls already. Um, not good for Portsmouth. Yep. Um, Make sure I'm lining this up and we've got it on camera for the kickoff. So, number 27 kicking off for the Wyverns now. Scooch off the side of his foot and out and of bounds. A penalty. So, Nathan pointing out the ports of discipline may be the difference between the two. Yeah, that's, that's, that's what I've, I've sort of alluded to is this, this discipline isn't going it, to, it can make all the difference in this game. Um, a, a couple of calls for Let's Go Tom here. Um, Steve said, watch this kick return touchdown. <laughs> <laughs> Got to stay in bounds to be able to. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It, oh, it's, a, it's a kick return penalty where they get good yards. Let's go for that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so it's going to be, what, first and, first and ten from around the 40. Oh, ref saying it. Cool. 36 yard line, yep. first down. So not bad field position. Um, you know, you, you want Portsmouth to put points on the board here. You don't, you, you know, they can't let the game get too yeah, far Yeah, you've, you've got to set a tone now. They've got something, yeah, yeah. So Hopefully they've got a bit of grit in them and, and, and they'll show So, that. spread formation, single back, Sam Scott, QB. Low snap. Ball's picked up by 33, bounces to the outside. Still going outside. Tackled and out of bounds. Was that, it was the first. I couldn't tell if he was going forward or just lap, yeah. just sideways on that. But I can see the sticks moving on the far side, so it is a first down. Um, so Paddy Chapman there, number 33. And he oh, takes the ball over the halfway line. Yeah. Uh, even though we, we, we're minus 10 yards here, but still, that was a decent run. And again, it was a wide run. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a genius. It was, it was I'm a genius. It, I'm like Tony Romo to it as well, so that, you know it yeah. gives them a chance to, and a good blocking as well. Yeah, come on, Portsmouth. So here we go then. Two receivers to the right, two to the left. Single back. Run again, but he cuts back inside. Good tackle there. Oh. Just got Number 31 again. Richard Howlett there with the tackle. <laughs> Steve would say never mind about the kickoff. <laughs> so, 51 shaking up on the play there. Oh, was injury? Oh, sorry, I'll, I'll pan away. Though, no, well, just for those of you that are watching us for the first time, we we don't we, we try to respect the dignity of uh, players when they're injured. Um, so, no matter the severity of the injury, we'll always pan away um, and uh, and just sort of respect the, the fact that this player is in pain um, and we don't want to broadcast it so uh, yeah. Um, yeah the uh, physios and uh, referee and looks like coach are over there just just uh, um, assessing him uh, what is common in American football is that players from both sides of, uh, of the uh, but from both teams both sidelines will kneel or take a knee during uh, during an injury and then uh, they will clap the player off so when this player gets back up on his feet hopefully shortly um, we'll receive an, a round of applause from everyone including um, the opposition and the opposition uh, yeah. spectators good chance for both teams to get a bit of um, fluid on board it is yeah well this is it's not bright what? sunlight but it is very very it's warm very hot. Hot. yeah I bet they're pouring in sweat under those under yeah. those kit. Uh, pads but it's it's funny right you, you you get these stoppages in american football it's unfortunately part of the game but it does give the tip that, that it gives the coaches breathing space the coaches can actually sort of recoup and re it's yeah. like a timeout right like um and uh so what, what you often see is um little groups of players huddling together on the sidelines coaches you know uh, talking about 
uh, what to do. Players are taking their helmets off now, so they would have been instructed by the players on the field. Would yeah. have been instructed by the refs to say, yeah, it's okay to take your helmets off because it's a little bit of a longer stoppage. Yeah. Which makes sense, uh, given given the heat that we're in. Um, yeah. But yeah, hopefully we, we, we'll, we'll be up and running again soon. The, the, the player's like responsive. He's not, you know, he's not he's not unconscious or anything. Uh, they're just assessing his injuries, uh, and then um, yeah. we ch we'll, we'll, we'll be back soon. Yeah, they've they've checked him out. Ooh. Nathan's uh, asked if there's any other scores apart from the Caesars. Let me have a look, Nathan. I'm just going to see if we don't. Oh, there we go. You can see. I don't know if you can hear, but you can see yeah. the player being clapped off and uh, uh he's, he's he's walking off on his own power there which is great it it yeah. was um i don't i don't like to talk to what the injury was uh just to not worry people but it was a lower leg injury um looks like ankle but hopefully we see him back on the field shortly but as always with most of the um the, the people do the medic cover for this you know they they make sure you know they're not going to get him up on his feet too soon yeah you know and yeah, do yeah, more yeah. damage so here we go then second and five so we've got that spread formation again. 33 in the backfield. Sam Scott's a QB. Motion man across. So we've got, now we've got trips on the left. Run off tackle. Oh, great oh. tackle there. Pursuing shirt. tackle. Got enough of the shirt there to pull him down. Is that number 31 again? Yes. Uh, what's his name? I'm going to remember it by Richard the end. Richard Howlett. Of He's having a great game. <laughs> That was a great tackle to pursue yeah. like that. Yeah, so Paddy Chapman there took the ball, looking to go inside, and then bounced it outside, but well read by the outside linebacker there. Russ, Be Russ Begbie says hi. He says he's enjoying the stream. Hey, Russ. We love Russ Begbie. Yeah. <laughs> Give us a stat, Russ. <laughs> Third and four, then, for Portsmouth. Looking... Oh. What's this penalty likely to be? I'm guessing a false start because they whistled the play dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't see. Cool, so five yard penalty, repeat the down. I can't see the other scores. Um, there's something wrong with my, or maybe it's Facebook in general, but when I go to load the, uh, load the app on my phone, it just closes. <laughs> so uh, I'll have to have a look at that later or find an alternative way of getting the scores. If you guys find any scores, post them in the chat. So that, that brings it back five yards to a third and eight then. Ball's on around about the 43 yard line. Spread formation. This is a key drive for Portsmouth. They've really got a score here. Ooh, another penalty brings it back for them. <laughs> number, it looked like number 31. After making the tackle, there's three flags actually. They're pointing both ways. Yeah. So, okay, let's see. Little referee call. Now remember, <laughs> if a defender goes into the neutral zone and an offensive player reacts, yeah. then that can be an offside. Yes. But only the person nearest to that player can react. Oh, the offense so, took it. Yeah. Wow. So if you're if you're the right guard and the guy moves in front of you and I step back as the left guard, yeah. it would still be a false start. But if you'd move, then we would get the the offside by the defence. Really? So you can oh, only only the threatened player. Yeah, that I, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, that's why when often you see um, a defender in the neutral zone and a wide receiver moves. Yes. But it's still an offensive penalty. You've got to be the threatened player. Yeah, 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 yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. So looking to pass, swing pass out to the side, intercepted. Number 32. He's coming all the way down. I'm in the air for a touchdown. They probably not. They flagged him for it. They flagged him. That's going to get called back. This right. is going to get called back. Rip, um, the, do you want to explain the, the that, The penalty Mikey? will be at the point he started celebrating. So, and, and he's marked it around the 15, which is rough. No, I yeah. would say he, he did it around the 10, but still. Yeah. Let's, uh, oh my God. You're not allowed to celebrate till you're in the end zone. Oh. To change your stride or to carry out any it. other action. I hate this rule. As a defender it, myself, they, I, they should be more lenient. Yeah. I don't, well, I don't think the rule should exist. Well, remember this, the, uh, the, the NFL have reacted, re relaxed their version of it. Yeah. And for a while it was called the No Fun League. So. He gets it. My 
my God. Oh, so he gets 15 yards yes. back yeah. from it. So they've marked yeah. him, he's marked him at the 15, so that's going to the 30, yeah. which is roughly where he picked it off. Oh. Yeah, look, people saying yeah. that, uh, that ridiculous. It is a ridiculous rule. I like, I just, I, I've, I've, I've seen it. I've, I've been a beneficiary of it actually, where, <laughs> where we've had uh, the same You've sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, like someone. Uh, it was a Cornwall years ago. They, 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 they picked it off, run it back. The guy high stepped into the end zone. Yeah, flagged it back. But the, interestingly, this was a long run. This was about 60 yards, and they put the. They, maybe they missed did it. Uh, they uh, incorrectly did it, but they put the ball all the way back at where. Um, where, where the play started. No, it's from the spot where yeah. the offence occurred. So, first down. So we got that two it's back with the wing back to the right of the quarterback. Sure two receivers par on the left. I completely agree, guys. I don't get that rule. It is. If it it's is in no the rule, rule book, it must be enforced. Yes. But it's. it's it, the rule book has been written by people that don't play any sport ever. I disagree <laughs> with that, but. <laughs> good solid tackling defence. Um, Aldo Navarro there, number one with the tackle. Had the pleasure of coaching him when I was at Portsmouth and he did a time at Solent Freshers. So a good solid stop there for the defence for a about two yard gain. Enjoy the game. Yeah, it's just silly. Steve Wood said it saves us and he loves the rules. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I get it. Like, you know, you can be on the wrong, on yeah. the right side of it. Wasn't Fifth. unsportsmanlike. Yeah, so, so it is an unsportsmanlike call, which is essentially it's a yellow flag. flag. It's a yellow flag, it's, it's, isn't it? Because it's, it's taunting. taunting, yeah. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm with everyone in the comments. We should be able to celebrate stuff. Yeah. What a run here! And he's yes. taking it round to the five or six yard line, number 11. Rosso in there. Uh, for the, uh, on the tackle for the dreadnoughts, number 21. Again, uh, for the run. Malcolm Sakala there with the tackle, Portsmouth University. Pretty much saves the touchdown there, so. Ah. Taylor the ball's on the five yard line, first down. Yeah, I've been, go I've been, I've been going on about this rule for years and a couple of others. This one's the most ridiculous one. But so, spread anyway. formation, single back now. Let's see if they can capitalize on the interception. Swing pass out that corner. Same play. Oh, and he's picked! He just, he's trying to get out of the end zone, he just needs to go down, and he it's does. Best to stay in the end zone. Yeah, let's, let, let's get a little replay of that. Very, very well read. See here, ball snap. Dan Witchy there the with the interception. Left. And Dan Witchy really nicely. He actually doesn't leave his feet, which is weird. I thought, <laughs> I was going to say, oh, he leapt up and caught that ball over a taller receiver. He didn't. It came down into his hands. Um, uh, but, uh, but then he was sort of fighting to get out of the end zone. Um, you don't want to do that because if you just kneel or get tackled in the end zone the ball gets placed on the 20 yard line which is up here rather than you get tackled at like the one yeah so. with two players that close to him it's just take the ball keep the ball stay down is ross owen the oldest running back in the league at 40. i don't know i think you'll probably find old, a couple of older players skilled players um right. particularly up north there seems to be uh, people that just don't know when to quit <laughs> So here we go then, Portsmouth on their own 20. 86 goes in motion. 33, bounces to the outside. Number 66 with a nice block there. He's still on his feet. 99, he's not he's he doesn't go out of bounds. Go. He better not celebrate until he goes yeah. in and, he, and he's got a touchdown. What a turnaround that was. Portsmouth were facing a two score game. They then had the ball drove them right down to their, what, five, six-yard line. Yep. Took an interception, one play, busted up, and now it's an even game, six all. There is a player down. I don't think I've got him on stream, so that's okay. Yeah. But uh, just to warn you, there's a player down being seen. No flags? I can't think no, there's any flags. No, that's what a about. hell of a play that was. Yeah, so number 66, Ian Reese, he got out in front there. And fantastic block. Just unbelievable. What a what a series of events and then down around about the 30 yard line 99 for the wyverns had a shot at him yeah gave him a shove but he didn't he go out going. of bounds yeah. he was just stayed well, in bounds do you think about two series ago we were saying portsmouth have to score on this series yeah they then threw a pick that got returned but then called back they then caught a pick and have <laughs> scored it, insane what a game yeah um, and and it could have been so different it could have been so different it, they could have been two scores down uh, but now they're equal yeah. 
and they could go one or two points up here depending on the point after. We do have a, a dreadnought player down, uh, just to let you know, and that's why uh, players stopped. Um, but yeah, let's see, let's look in the comments. I'm sure I've got people going, fantastic. No, I haven't. Witty with the interception, apparently. Oh, did you already read his name out there? Because he's got a lot of um, uh, a lot of attention in the in the chat. Team TD says Russ, uh, well done, Dreads. Number 33 is the strongest back I've seen in a few years. Oh, okay. He's running well, yeah. Uh, what's his name? It's Paddy Chapman is number 33 Paddy for Portsmouth. So here we go then. They're going for one point, which is, I would say, uh, the smarter yeah. option. So Ian Reese was the injured player there. Out here. He did the lead block that broke back for the touchdown. And now Stu Reese is holding. Oh, bad oh, snap. He fumbled. Fall on it. Yeah. The whistle was blown a bit early. Blown then. dead. Whistle now. Yeah. That was an that was an early whistle. Yeah. Yeah. So the reason we call that an outlet, just to let you guys know that technically the Wyverns could have picked that up and run the ball all the way back to the end zone for two points there, which would have put them two points up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why there was a little bit of protest there from the sideline, and fair enough. But uh, you know, the ref whistled it. Yeah. Um, they saw it as the best thing to do, and we're now six all. A little message from Teb saying he loves me, or maybe he loves you. We don't know. Nah. Inadvertent whistle, replay the down. Really? Yeah. Oh, right. Okay, so we've got another chance again. This is the referee's decision. Yeah, it is. I, 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 don't, I, don't, I suppose, given that it's 6 all and it's so significant, potentially, then I get it. But I could have seen this just, let's just carry on. You know, equally, I could have seen them just wanting to carry on with it. But, okay. So, I'm going to be careful what I say here, but... Um, yeah, so the referee has determined a re-kick. Obviously, he's now having a conversation with the Somerset uh, head coach mm. about that. So Very early whistle, second in the game. Yeah, it is the second ga second in the game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Thirty-three used to play for the Thunder. Love to see him play. All right, let's see this. Let's see, this, let's see if they can get the snap down. It was, it was a low snap again. The ball's up. And it's good. You see the referee there. Now the white cap will indicate that it's good. And now that's based on the referee's decision. And, and I'm, I'm not critical of the referees. The referees make their decisions. Yeah. That one point could be a difference in this game now. Yeah, well, you know, we'll see if we come back to it. But, yeah, the, the score is now in the second quarter. Portsmouth Dreadnought 7. The Somerset Wyvern six, and this is the top of the table clash. This is this is an important. I'd be, be interested. We'll, we'll put it out to Nathan if Nathan's watching. Yeah, he is. Okay, I would I would say that the ball was dead with no clear possession. It was a um, Portsmouth ball, and therefore the try was over, and it should have been the kickoff. But that's 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 what I'm thinking in my head. But the white hat is is. I'm not criticising the referee, I'm just saying in the back of my mind what I think, and I, I could be totally wrong. Yeah. So, so here we go then. Stephen Mofort kicking off for Portsmouth. And Portsmouth, you know, I, I say Portsmouth back in it, they've always been in it, but yeah. you know, it, it, in a dominant position now, right? No drive. drive. It keeps going back. Number, number one's finally got possession oh of it. What was that? The ball just the ball just didn't get picked up. Is that right? It bounced it? past him and then he readjusted to pick it up. There's a player down, I think. And the pan away. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the ball bounced and he readjusted to pick it up and it bounced the other way. If you've ever tried right. catching one of these balls when they're bouncing, you think you've got it in your hand and it goes in a completely different direction. You can see there a couple of players kneeling on the field. Just because that their, 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 their teammates down it is a, is a Portsmouth yeah. Dreadnoughts player down. Again, I won't get him on the screen, but just to let you know. Oh, we're good. 
Nathan said, I'm not commentating, Steve. Commenting, Steve. Fair enough. <laughs> Uh, Caitlin said fumble. Yeah, I didn't see the fumble, but yeah, thanks for letting me know. Yeah. Because I, I sort of changed from looking at the little small screen monitor to watching the actual game. Yeah. Between that, I missed it. But uh, player back up, being clapped off, um, and he's walking off on it again on his own power. Yeah. Okay, so Wyvern's on around about a 15 yard line. First and 10. Let's see what they can do on this drive. It's such a good game. Yeah, <laughs> I'm really enjoying this one. So, spread formation, single back. So Rosso in the single back there. Man in motion across the formation. Run to the left. Well stopped there by the defence. Yeah. yeah, he was up and then he was down, wasn't he? I mean, that was, that was yeah. a very quick, quick, powerful tackle there to stop number 21, who's having a fantastic game, I must say. Yeah. He's... Uh, He's a real threat. 93 real Marvin Tohal there with the tackle for Portsmouth. Again, both teams are really struggling to get running through the tackles. So, spread formation. Number one's in on the wing back position. Second and eight. Run up the middle. Number 21 again. He breaks outside, but he's swarmed by the defence. Probably half a yard gain there, so third and eight now. Steve Wood's asking how the dreads are on seven. Steve, the uh, extra point was retaken uh, and they successfully kicked it through. So that's why they got seven points. Yeah, the referee's deemed After an inadvertent a, whistle. So inadvertent whistle, yeah. spread formation now, third and eight. Pressure from the outside for the quarterback. Two receivers in what the area that? and over both of them. I'm going to replay that. Let's, let's have a little look. It looked like a bubble screen, but one, one or other should have been blocking. Yeah, balls up. They both, they both left their feet and it, and it went over both of them. I, I, I don't think the receivers ran the correct routes. I, 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 it looked like the bubble screen and one of those two should have blocked. Yeah. And yeah. the other should have taken the pass. Well, I they think. both left their feet, though. Yeah. So, like, yeah, there was definitely <laughs> wires crossed. But, so. Uh, brings up fourth down. Fourth down. A punt. Zero five twelve in the half. Cool. Somerset call a timeout. Uh, we got a dodgy link up, Russ. Yeah, we do. Okay, I'll get rid of it. I hate these people. Yeah. Give me a sec. Oh, they were even doing the them app. on the youth games yesterday. They, um, they, there wasn't even a stream there. So. So Somerset have called a timeout and they're having a com conversation with the head coach and the referee. Russ, thanks for uh, warning everyone about that link. I will see if I can remove it. <laughs> oh, oh, killing me. Every time I click, go to click on it, I can't. Yeah. This is interesting. They're having a conversation about a player's visor that's been brought to the attention of the referees by a timeout at the head coach of Somerset. So, so a, a player on which team? Cause we a Portsmouth Dreadnoughts oh, um, right. visor is being checked. Now, there are new rules this year about the, the clarity of them. And we do know that they, there was pre-game checks carried out. Yeah, we saw them, yeah, yeah. And that's number 11 for Portsmouth, uh, Malcolm Sakala. He's got his Portsmouth University helmet on. He's actually done, I've worked with him at uh, Solent uh, Thrashers. So here we go then. Fourth down for Somerset, 14 back to punt. Good snap. He's under pressure and he's running. He's no longer protected. He's got it. He's got that first down, I'd say. And the I think he has. Cheering, but he got first down. But there is a flag. I need to zoom out a little bit. There was too much action there for us to catch on, uh, on a... On so we've got a flag around about the same level.
So the holding penalty there. So I'm trying to figure out how to get this if they, ha if they hadn't gained the first down, then the, the, the Portsmouth would have declined it and got the ball. Instead, they, 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 they're obliged to accept it. So. Interesting, it's fourth and 11, and they're punting again. And we've got a child on the field. Oh, look at him. <laughs> you can't see him, he was over there in a green top. He's, yeah. he's gone now. He'll be back, don't worry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are, there are a lot, what, uh, ropes out to um, keep control of where the crowd can sit, but many people are actually sat inside that. And oh yeah. So, you know, so here we go then. Off the side of the foot again, but it's gonna stay in bounds. So. Portsmouth getting the ball back in Somerset territory. Ball's around the 41 yard line. Right, I got rid of that comment now. Sorry, it took me so long. <laughs> I had to turn my phone back on and off again. The classic, the classic reset. So here we go then. So, Freddie Freeze in the backfield. Number eight goes in motion. Sam Scott's QB. Looking to pass. He keeps the ball. He's running. He hasn't tucked it up and he ran inside into a linebacker. Uh, yeah. There's been a lot of comments since I last spoke. So I'm, I'm going to. Uh... Gain of eight yards though. Yeah. No visors, no celebrating for what reason? So yeah, the no visor rule is, they say it's a safety rule. I, I don't really like it either. I think if you've got fast release visors, it should be okay. But you know, I'd, I'd rather fight the, um, the celebration fight than, uh, than, than visors. Um, if I, I, I remember it being discussed is, is, is when, when they talk about kit for the purpose. So you're not allowed to cut pad, knee pads and thigh pads. Everyone cuts them. Yeah. You've got minimum measurements. They even tell you minimum yeah. measurements for them. So but they, 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 they can't go in depth in the rules. Oh, what a oh. fantastic play there from number two. Gets him in the, doesn't, doesn't get him down on the first attempt, but certainly Sean does on the second. tapping there with the ankle tackle. Yeah. Um, well, the initial failed ankle tackle, but he did yeah. make up for it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, I think the, the, the issue is that there's so, so diverse amounts of equipment. If you, if you go down into the minute, my new side of what is legal and what isn't, it just detracts from the rest of the rules. But the, 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 the main point is you've got to be able to see the pupils of the eyes without removing the helmet so you can assess them if they've, if they've had a head injury. So, third down, pass, low and away. Uh, 98 for Somerset came on the blitz there and he was shot down by the running back. So, fourth down. Caitlin asking which team the child was distracting for. I'd have to say Portsmouth because it was from their sideline. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Red CMC say they're for safety. Uh, the team advisors for safety reasons be able to see the player's eyes in medical emergency. Yeah. I still think. I still think even for an assessment, I still think you should. There's no way that if I, I if I didn't have a visor on and I took drugs or if I was concussed, <laughs> there's no way that you'd be able to look in my eyes and go, "Oh, there's something wrong with you, mate." I just I think it's a cop out. I just I don't get it. But anyway, uh, let's 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 so, get celebration sorted first. Then we got, we got a punt. Oh, and he lots really scuffed it. It basically went straight up in the air, just leave it. There was lots of pressure from Somerset there, but it takes a good bounce. Beautiful Portsmouth bounce, but... Oh, it's actually fielded not badly. <laughs> How did that happen? The <laughs> Ivan said stay away from it, I think. Yeah, yeah. And they shouldn't have done. We're looking around about the 15-yard line. I think that ball travelled more after it hit the ground than yeah. it did while it was in the air. Yeah. And, and if the Wyverns had fielded it, and j even just taking a knee on it, dove on it, they'd have been, had a much better field position. Yeah. They're now inside their own red zone. And looks around about the 19-yard line, yeah, I'm going to yeah. say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd say, so. I'd say that's right. But, but yeah, it was, a, it was a lot of pressure from Somerset. And 
the punter did fall down at the end of the play. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was a, it was a yeah. it was a high kick, but a good bounce. So here we go then. Time's winding down in the second quarter. Trips to the left, motion man now. I'm guessing this might be the two minute warning. Two one seven remaining, so. Well, Russ has just mentioned here, and I, 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 I must admit, I didn't pick it up at the time, but he said, nobody down the ball, why did the whistle blow? I didn't think the whistle, I, I, and I, I didn't notice it not blowing uh, at the right time. On the punt? Yeah. Okay. One, once the ball is clearly dead and no person is making an attempt yeah. to get the ball, it becomes dead. Yeah. And yeah, then you blow the whistle. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, that's my, that's if, my thought. Yeah, if, so, if somebody goes to look as they're going to pick it up, you should give them the opportunity. But if it's clearly dead and no one's going to get the ball, then you blow the whistle once it stops rolling. Thank you, Willie. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, and, and Nathan just backing that for you, and saying <laughs> if, if, if all players walk away, it's dead. Cool. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Nathan. <laughs> Get back to you on that. But no comment you were, uh, on the other one. <laughs> I'll discuss it with him later. Yeah. Okay, big hole oh, up the wow, middle. What a run! Number th is it number twenty-one again? That number twenty-one like again. Cage. That looked like another face cage. I'm gonna I'm gonna re replay that. Uh, you can see here, Malcolm Sakala there through. with the tackle. That is, it's interesting yeah. where he gets him. No, I don't think it was a face cage, but his hand was up quite high. Yeah. And uh, the player, there is a player down, so I'm going to just slightly pan yeah. away. Let's look at the sideline, shall we? He's he's up now. They haven't stopped the clock, so he's he's okay to stay on. Oh right. I always thought if you were sort the of referee didn't sort of blow the whistle to stop the play. Right. Okay. okay. He's just slow getting up, so. Nathan said he loves you. Russ says thanks. Look at that. <laughs> eh? We are improving the game of American football in the UK. I, I just hope everyone is... Uh, as I say, I, I, I'm saying my interpretation of the rules, having read the rule book, so... The tight trips here, ah, and he, he, he goes for a... Yeah. Oh, Cross left, well there read is, by number two and 24. I think there's a formation penalty here on the offence. Two men in the back... Too many, too many men, men in the backfield, back back I think. Yeah. Yeah, you, yeah, once that man went in motion... Yeah. He, he, yeah, that's what I think it was. We'll see. Yeah. So. Oh, I can't believe there's only two. People are asking me about scores elsewhere. The, the games are only just kicking off now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, the Solent game's later because they're a double header. Yeah, that's right. They um, got the under 19s first, haven't they? But obviously, now we're in, in, in the longer days. You can. So. Here right. we go. Let's see what the ref says. Yeah, illegal formation. There oh, we go. Fucking genius. <laughs> Honestly, mate, I've got, I've got like a sixth sense for this thing. <laughs> the universe, it just tells me what's going on. <laughs> if it don't look right, you I swear that's how religion started. <laughs> I, I shouldn't really say that. <laughs> <laughs> so we that brings up uh, second and 15. Four, 15, 14, 15. Yeah, 15, yeah. They declined the penalty yeah, yeah. because of the previous play. So we got the wing back, single back, back to pass, a little swing pass out to 81 is complete. Swarm tackle. Really nice tackling from, from both sides today. I, you know, I, I know we've seen a couple of missed tackles, but in, in the main, there's actually some, some good solid gang tackling. Yeah, I think we've got the two minute warning now. Yeah. Oh, uh, Nathan here plug in the uh, Baffred.info website, which is uh, yeah, the yeah. If you, if you ever fancy gum, it, it he says, join me on the dark side. That's what he says. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not moving to Cornwall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's got so here we go with the pass. Oh, I was going to call that a run. Overthrows number one. Yeah, the play action there. Hey, look, look yeah. like, especially with, you know, eye backs behind him. You sort of yeah. think, oh. They're going to yeah. lead that. Uh, so, fourth down, punt team's coming yeah. on for uh, the Wyverns and obviously the punt return team. And, and that deadly man, number five. Yeah. Eight, is it DJ? Yeah, DJ. DJ. I remembered it. Um, oh, my God. Deshaun Jackson. Someone's trying to get us to uh, 
to use a, a, a parody account and say the name on stream like I'm not with it and I don't pick it out but no I won't be saying I'd say I'll say that he's t he said he loves the commentary but he's definitely from a joke account trying to get us to um, right. so say something on, uh, on stream Jackson's know. on it good pursuit downfield by Somerset he's on around about the 30 big scrum Another spammy contact. Let's get rid of that. So, 29 yard line, then they've marked the ball. Norwich Devils are leading the London Blitz B 8 0. Yeah, I saw the fake stream. Thanks for letting me know. I'll just get rid of it. They're a pain in the ass, so they just keep going and going. There's like five or six accounts they'll do every week. But uh, yeah, I hate that they, they, they didn't cotton on to us for a while, which was nice, but now they're there and they're going to be ever present. But uh, I'll just get rid of them and ban them uh, and then wait for the next one. <laughs> yeah, so first down for Portsmouth. So in the two minute warning in the first half, they're up by a point. Sam Scott's the Linux QB. Run up the middle and bounces. Good tackle. Oh, oh no, he's breaking feet. it. Still on his feet. Extremely strong running here. There's there's two offensive linemen down at the other 20, still blocking their, op their opponents for Portsmouth. Great blocking, great running. So I think that's Portsmouth using their last time out. I just got a community guidelines warning for telling a fake account to get us. Thanks Facebook for dealing with the real issue. <laughs> yeah, and well, we got another one, another spammy comment. <laughs> Facebook um, guidelines are, are amazing. Just ridiculous. And you can't do anything about it. You can't call them up. Just got to take it on the chin. Oh, we got another? Paddy eating those tackles for breakfast. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He's doing a great job today so far. I'm very impressed with him. So that was, that was Portsmouth final time out. Ball's on the 35, 36 yard line. So let's see what they're going to do. Two receivers out to the left, one to the right. Wing backs behind the right guard, right tackle. Sam Scott's got the ball and it's a handoff up the. Welsh tackled there in the middle of the field. So gain of about three. If they call Steve Woods calling Paddy Paddy the Baddy. I, I, I hope that's his nickname. Uh, and I, if not, I hope this coins it for him. <laughs> if Paddy Chapman is his name, no, no, but they, yeah, yeah. he's calling Paddy the Baddy. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Sam Scott looking to oh, pass. Got some time. Great blocking from little pass line. over the middle to number twelve, but he's only running laterally. Good tackle by number two. So Charlie Willie there with the ball. Now we've got a late flag. Yeah. What's that? Most likely a personal foul, right? That late. Yes, something after the um, after the play. Number 33 is beast mode. Watching live from sunny Spain whilst drinking a vodka lemon. It says lemon. Um, it's a hard life. Yeah, we, we feel for you, um, Phil. Is that limoncello, on? maybe? Huh? Limoncello is a type of drink, isn't it? She limon. says limon. Yeah. Oh, he's, oh, yeah, oh, he's had too hey, many. Yeah, he's like, oh, I'll just give up there. Uh, but yeah, cheers, cheers for letting us know, Phil. Right, so. Uh, just lost all those yards. It looks like it. It, it looks like it's going to be a penalty on, uh, oh, according to Nathan, well, it looks like it's a penalty. Portsmouth's it was way. between the receiver and the, the, the person who tackled him. Yeah. So. And what was that? Was on a second and five, roughly second and six. Yeah, second and five. Yeah. So, but this was a going to be a dead ball pet foul, so they could yep. go back fifteen. Yep. And be third down. Yep. So. Just. Portsmouth just it's so <laughs> painful, and I keep saying it. And it's, probably, it's probably blatantly obvious for everyone. I'm just yeah. stating the obvious, like it's not just Michael this, Owen. <laughs> yeah. It's not just this game though. We've seen it in many games. The team gets into a good position. Yeah. One one silly foul or a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And they, they're either out of it or they or they give the opportunity. Well, do you know what? I saw it. I, I, I covered the game. Rush uh, under 19s. Rushmore 
Knights versus the South London Renegades. And if the Renegades cut out their penalties, they would have... That, the Rushmore Knights were a better team. I don't think the result yeah. of the game would have changed, but they, they were a much better team than, yeah. what, than, than what the scoreline said. Um, they had... They had oh, let's listen. So we've got a live ball foul 10 yards, which will be enforced. So we'll be second down and 10 from, from the, about the 40. Yeah, but then, then the it goes the other way. 15 <laughs> for so an automatic first down. So we're down. plus five. Yeah. And a first down, yeah, oh my God. That's it, again, really um, significant. Only my Portsmouth got no timeouts. That's, that's a costly play. Yeah. If it had been only on Portsmouth, then Somerset could have had the option, if it's under a minute, of, of having a 10 second runoff. Yeah. Because there's two fouls, then obviously the clock stops. Yeah, uh, Stephen just explaining what he saw there to well, having the player hold in to sort of, uh, sort of the, trying to delay the game, slow the game down a yeah. bit, but uh, got flagged for it. Uh, Pension yeah. to be on the D tackle for holding him down. Yeah, this is exactly what he just said. Ah, yeah. this is interesting. You can't offset one live ball with a dead ball. But uh, that's right. anyway, that's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. I've <laughs> yeah. That's why the both were enforced. One was one was a lot. If it was a live ball foul on each side, yeah. it would be offset and replay the down. Right. Because it was a live ball then and you, a dead ball. You're allowed ball, to do both. One is enforced and then the other. <laughs> wow. This is what the, the, these are the bits you got to. And there's a spike well, there on second and nine. That's going to be the weirdest spike I've ever seen. I'm going to show you that again. Now the other interesting thing is, is is a spike. Should be a clear throw into the ground. I don't think he even actually no, he caught that. So he, he just he got it in yeah. both hands and just lobbed it down. If he, if he didn't get it into his hands, then that effectively is is a must snap and a live ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can see what you mean. Because <laughs> he, he, he didn't he didn't let he didn't throw any... know that you're going to spike the ball as well. No, it, no, you don't okay. have to. But that he did not he did not throw the ball into the ground. That. So we're going for this big field goal. And they need one more on the field. Yeah. Oh, this is tight. They're just get set up anywhere. They're just set up anywhere. Here we go then. Ball up in the Long air. drive. <gasps> He's got such a good leg on him. Three so points. 35 so yard them. field goal there. We've still got a one score game, but it's 10-6 uh, to the dreadnought. So, uh, and, and, and we are on the verge of ending the, fir uh, the first half, yeah. right? Like, we're, not yeah, so far. just going back to what I was saying, is a yeah. spike is he catches the ball and he throws it into the ground. Yeah. Just slamming it down like that, it's a muff snap because he never took possession of the ball. Yeah. That's a live ball that anybody oh, could have fallen so, on. So, uh, and just to extend that, can anyone spike the ball then? Like, so, is, is it only the QB that can spike the ball? If I could, sp could I spike the ball, the ball is a forward pass. Ah, oh, so it's got to be behind the line of scrimmage and, and thrown down into the ground. A clear spike. Yeah. He, he didn't take possession of feet, it, like, so he never threw it. Yeah. Ah. So... Again, it was an early whistle uh, so that stopped the play. Wait, when you get those passes that go laterally and then they go and throw to receiver, mm. could that person spike the ball? The first person that's got the backward pass. No, it's it's got to be it's got to be in the pocket and it's got to right. be a clear, a cool. you know, in that hurry up situation. Anyway, know, so not not that anyone would ever do that, but I just wanted to get the rule clear. Yeah. So here we go then. So Portsmouth kicking off. Deep oh, kick. Massive kick. Number 33 fields it. Really good blocking up in front of him. Yeah, and, and they do take men out, but he does get... He out gets to, sort of into just outside the 20. Similar to what I'd call a wedge. It was like a bunch of players, wasn't it? So. I think that's time it expires on the first half. This Portsmouth destroyers 10. Somerset Wyvern 6. I'm just going to block that Nick guy for those of you that have seen what he's saying. Um, but yeah, let's have a, just have a quick look. Any more uh, comment there about the spike going far? What, uh, what a kick. Has to be that the player receives the, uh, the player that receives the spike. Yeah. yeah, makes sense. Cool. Yeah. Okay, well, we, we, we'll, we'll have a 20 minute or so break. Uh, we'll be back shortly. I'll, I'll try and find some scores to open up the, the second half of you, but we got a great game. So it's 10-6 at half time. It's been, been awesome. Uh, 
hopefully more of the same in the second half. I think, yeah. I think P Portsmouth can stay on top if they keep their penalties down. But the Wyverns can come back, you know, like it's, yeah, it's, well, it's anyone's well, game. That field goal is, is a Wyverns in discipline, you know. They, Portsmouth are running the hurry up. Yeah. They try to slow it down. They draw the penalty. Portsmouth go into the half with the uh, field goal. Cool. Well, All right, well, let me, I'm just going to cut the mics and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be back in about yeah. 15, 20 minutes. Thanks, guys.
Okay. okay, guys, back for the second half. Portsmouth Dreadnoughts 10, Somerset Wyverns 6. Just before we get for the kickoff, I just want to cut the shout outs. Obviously, Portsmouth Dreadnoughts are sp sponsored by the Pelham Pub, uh, Chichester Road in Cosham, and also to AEI Scaffolding. They're the guys that have provided the platform okay, today for, for us to get the high angle Dreadnoughts and 10, film this. Sorry, there's a thing on my phone. Matt Audley's asked me to send a special shout out to Vicky and Oliver watching at home. Hope you're enjoying the game. Matt's actually doing some work and trying to look important. So here we go. Kick down, drops at 25, picked up by number 32, runs across the field. A bit of shoulder attempt of a tackle with the shoulder by 27. Oh, sorry about the filming there, guys. Uh, I'd locked the tripod and I couldn't move it. <laughs> Forgot the combination. Yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, ball's 23 yard line for Somerset. So, first, first play of the second half. Really important so, drive, really, yeah, because you want yeah. Somerset will want to score next, you know. So, see what happens. Motion man comes across the formation. Run up the middle, 57 there with the tackle. Ben Burley Daish there with the tackle for Portsmouth. Bit of ribbon from the Portsmouth Dreadnought sideline drummer. Yeah, they said to me at half time, oh, we, didn't put the we didn't bang the drums because uh, we didn't want to interrupt you. <laughs> but it's actually a player banging the drum. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go then. Second and nine. Looks like a, a late play call just coming from the quarterback. False start there. And he catches the ball, but there's a. So number 21 there with a the false start. So keen to get going, obviously. Again, it was that little quick pass out to the flat. So second down and 14 now. Someone's asked in the comments if there was a fight, would we show it? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, spread formation, looking to pass that little pass to the flat, tipped. So number eight, he got a hand to it, but too high for him to make the catch. So again, they're looking for those little passes quick out into the flats. So third down and 14 now. So two receivers out to the left, single to the right. Receiver running back to the right of the QB and one tailback. High snap over his head, he controls it. Throws to the outside. Oh, it's unlucky. Well played by the quarterback there. He controlled the snap and still got the pass out. But just way short for a number 88. Just and, and we uh, get, I, I keep, I've said this before, we get them every single game. Every single game when there's a shotgun or pistol QB, there will be at one point an, uh, an, what, an errant snap. Is that, the right, yeah. is that the right way of saying it? Yeah. There's always one. Yeah. At least. So, number 14's back to punt on his own seven yard line. Portsmouth looking to do, set up the return here rather than make the pressure. Low snap. Oh, he bubbled it. Nearly blocked there by number 99. Imagine if they'd have put on the pressure. 
<laughs> well, the interesting thing there is the, the punter nearly had his knee on the ground when he touched, picked up the ball. If he'd have taken possession oh, yeah. with his knee on the ground. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. So luckily he, he put his knee down, bobbled it, stood up and picked it up. Yeah. So ball spotted around about the 25 yard line for Portsmouth, their own 25. So pretty good punt from that position. And this is Portsmouth's opening drive of the third quarter again. It's always the opening drives of the third quarter I think are so important. Yep. You know, if they score here, it then becomes a two score game. If the Wyverns had scored, yep. it would, they would have, you know, gone ahead. It's, uh, these, th whoever scores next is a really vital thing in this game right now. So, I'm not sure we've got a s stoppage. Oh, it looks like the chains were in the slightly wrong position. Ah. So. And the, the Portsmouth chain crew have got their own custom, let me see if I can zoom in on one. Look, their own little custom high-vis tops. You can't see them there, but they got um, the logo on it, Portsmouth Dreadnoughts logo. It's yeah, cool. they're, they're, they're blue blue vests, right, run up the middle. Oh, he's still on his still feet. A couple Such of low tackles. Such a powerful rudder, old Paddy the Baddy, isn't he? I mean, that was awesome. Just wait and see how much of a gain. Doesn't look like much of a gain on the run. Yeah, so they've got these blue vests, sleeveless vests, with the Dreadnoughts logo on the back. The ball boy on this side was wearing one previously. But Liam Mears just said, uh, I love what you do for doing for the game. Any teams you wouldn't want to cover and why? No, there's no... We, we, we have to try and stick to as close as possible to where we live, which is in the south uh, of England. But we are trying to set up a northern team uh, up in Sheffield, Manchester way. But no, there's no, there's no one we wouldn't cover. Um, want to give, yeah. you know, the best coverage we can possible for the, for the sport. Pass. It's complete. Wow, great catch. Two receivers and two defensive backs all in the same vicinity. Number 36 comes down with it, right? Is that, am, I, am I right there? Yeah. That's our name right on the very end. Harry Dickinson. Oh, is that? <laughs> Harry Dickinson was the one name that was that was not in order on the roster sheet that we were told about, and they said we'd be calling his name out today, and they yeah. went wrong. So uh, yeah. there we go. We, we do actually have um, Owen Llewellyn, number eighty-two for, for the, Somerset for as well. Ones, right. So each team's got one guy that's been added on last minute. So first down on about the, the halfway line. So forty-five yards to go. Runoff tackle there by number 33. Good push by the O-line to get him a bit a few extra yards. Gain of four. So second down and six. But yeah, obviously we've got from history of playing for certain teams against certain teams, you've always got the sort of those rivalries, but mm. there's 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 no animosity. Um I think somebody said years ago in, the, in Britball, you know, we're um, friends outside the lines. You yeah. know, Once, when you're on the field, we kit on, you're playing football. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, absolutely. I yeah. think it's a really lovely so, community in Britball. Oh, and he's kept oh, it's a naked time. boot rolled. And he's got the block. Oh, what a block! Yeah. And out of there by number 12. Um, Tom Scott with the run. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Scott there with a fantastic naked boot out to the quality. left. And uh, um, yeah, the block, is it number 12? The, the, the block yeah, the, number 12. The yeah. Fantastic block. So sh shout out to Tom Scott, Sam's brother. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always get the two of them mixed up, so. No, that, that was definitely Sam. That was definitely Sam, <laughs> yep. But as I say, Sam's Royal Navy and Tom Scott's Army, so they yeah. will be playing, facing off against each other later in the year. And as you can so see, first down on the 24 yard line. Sam looks to pass, passes deep over the middle to 36. Contested, three defensive players in the area there. And let's just replay, we'll just replay to see the end of that. because uh, it looked And again, like that's Harry Dickinson was the target. As you can see, ball in the air, jumped up, 
it, it, it was defended nicely by number 28 from uh, from the Wyverns there. While, while he may not have had possession of the ball, he definitely pushed the ball out of possession yeah. of uh, the, the hands of the player. So, yeah. great play. From good number good coverage by the defence there. Yeah, really good stuff. Okay. Second and 10 from the 24. Shit. I swore, no. but I just dropped something <laughs> off the tower, a little bit of rubbish. I went to get it. and um, hey, it, was, it was the plummet from his healthy eating tomatoes was, was at half time, time yeah. just blown off the t tower. Oh. So here we go. Bit of a bounce there, number 33. Oh, nice low tackle there by oh. number two. He's taking he's taking a quite a lot of big hits, isn't he, Paddy? Yeah. But he, he just bounces back up. Sean, yeah. Sean tapping with that tackle there. So... Seen some really, really good defensive performance by players on both sides of the ball today. So, third and about seven. Uh, do we cover Samwell Steelers games? I'm being asked. No, they're, they're a bit too far north for us at the moment. Yeah. But once we've set up this northern team, yeah, they, 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 they're likely to be well in scope. So, here we go. Spread formation. Number eight goes in motion across to the left. Run up the middle. He went laterally. Very little of a forward motion there. So fourth down. They're going for field goal. Great leg on their on their kicker, as we've already seen. Yeah. So ball's on about the 23-yard line. So it's a 33-yard field goal. And you don't normally see these types of calls in, at Division Two. You don't normally have teams. You don't with see a it in Div One in Prem. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, but we've you got know. two teams here. We've both have got solid kicking game, which yep. is adds such a great third, uh, not you, necessarily you, third, uh, an additional dimension to the game. Yeah. Yeah, the punting's been good. It looks a bit weird from both styles, but they've been doing the job. How long's this for a punt from where he's... So, the ball's on the 23, so he's yard? on the 30-yard line. So, it's a 40 yards from where he's kicking. It's up, but it's not going to have the legs. And it's dead. So, so what, the turnover on downs? So, they'll, they'll take the ball now where the ball was snapped. Yeah. I've just noticed, um, if you look over on the far side, uh, the guy with the, the photographer, Gordon Deadman, uh, long-time supporter of Portsmouth Dreadnoughts, uh, taking photos of their players, um, goes to a lot of their games. Also um, a devout Pittsburgh Steelers fan, so... Oh, yeah. He said to us, didn't he, at half-time, yeah. <laughs> so here we go, then. The ball is on the... 23 yard line, sorry, 22 yard line. So they've got number 88 in the backfield now on that little wing back position next to the QB. 21 at running back. 86 comes in motion across the formation. Oh, it's 25. 25, yeah. He spins. Oh, he's got his. He had a great little run there. Yeah, Looks nice up spin first move. Yardage. Yeah, takes the contact but spins out of it and, uh, and and just keeps pumping his legs. Kaylin Grant there with that lovely carry. Yeah, great run from Kaylin. So I, I thought he was 21 as well from this angle yeah. because he can see the two but not the one. <laughs> yeah, so take the pitch to the wing back there and then it was almost like a, a, a counter pitch. So. 89's the wing back. 25 still the running back, two receivers to the left. Run up the middle for 25 now. I think as long as he's gaining yards, yeah. you're going to keep playing him. Gain, right? gain of about five there. Well, the clouds have burned off now. We're getting quite warm. Just realised I've not changed it to quarter three in the school. Yeah. Apologies, which I will do now. Okay, so here we go. Two receivers bunched out to the right. 89 wing back next to the QB. 25 still in the backfield. Here we go. 25 up the middle. And they get me around the line of scrimmage that time. I think they... 57 had a shot at the tackle in the in backfield the but missed it but then yeah i'd say he got caught pretty much at the line of scrimmage yeah i think yeah 21's coming on now he's a little bit nippier not such a power runner's number for yeah. 25 but i'd say that play was a little bit obvious give the ball to 25 you know yeah uh, so this is ross owen now coming in 
good solid and defensive it's... line work there for Portsmouth. So this is the third down. This is third and oh, you call third, it and third and four. And short. It's not really third and short, is it? No, uh, it's, it's third and four. So yeah. um, I, I wouldn't be doing an eagle. eagle, eagle. <laughs> Hail Mary. Yeah. For their game. Yeah. That's not what they need. So for, just, just to explain this, the, the, the offense here are getting penalized um, from taking too long to move the, to, to start the play. Uh, Michael will be able to add more flavor to that, but that's essentially what's happened here. The ball's moved yeah. back. It's now third and nine, ten, if, or eight. If, if the ball ends up in, in bounds, they get 40 seconds. Right. If it's a dead ball like now, they only get 25 seconds from the referee's whistle right. to get the snap off. And the, and uh, they were penalised for it. So. Yeah. So, two receivers out looking to pass. Pressure. There was, there was no push in that pass at all. Ah, disappointing, because I think I think prior to that penalty, we, we, it was a bit more of an exciting situation. You know, third and four. Yeah. Um, they just brought on another running back. It was, you know, and I think that penalty changed what they were going to do on that play. Yeah. You know? it, 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 so... Bit of a shame, but uh, but we, we've got another another punt situation here for the Wyverns. So another opportunity. Tom, Tom for, Bowering, 14 to punt. Yeah, and uh, another opportunity, hopefully, to see the the punt returner. DJ is back, number uh, five. Number five for. And he's got a clean, and he's got it cleanly. It. See what but there's do. good. He ran into his own oh, player there. Tackling there, number 11, for the uh, for the Wyverns. He was on him straight away. Uh, and kept hold of him. Yeah, he had a couple of friends come and join him, but he, he effectively made that tackle. Not seeing them. Did I say 11? Did I say, I said 11. Maybe it was a, oh, 17. Number 17, Toby Calder. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. Sorry, I ain't got my glasses on. <laughs> but, sorry everyone. He hadn't even got his sunglasses on. He's not even no, looking no. cool. I've got zero glasses on. got a sport tank hat on, you know. <laughs> <laughs> One of a kind, this one. This is yeah, a yeah, we one. keep mentioning it's only one of a kind. Yeah. I got a t-shirt, but that was I got free from you um, ages ago. Okay, so here we go yeah, then, Portsmouth. Stuff. We need to get you a boonie, Mike. That's I need a boonie on the 32-yard line. I have inquired. They just haven't got back to me. I need to chase them out. Okay, so 33 with a run again up the middle there. He's still on his feet. He's still on, yeah. He's out to oh the outside. God. Go on, Paddy. <laughs> what a and run. And he's forced out of bounds. What a run. Is it, what was that, a good 30-yard run? Um, on the 31 yard back. line, so. Yeah. Br takes the ball from uh, Portsmouth territory into Somerset territory. Yeah. So, great run. Looks like they're setting up on the 31 there, so. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see from the ref, can't you? Yeah. Yeah, so about 20, nearly a 30 yard run there. Yeah. Look, remember, it's only a 90 yard field, so you've got to do your, your match yeah. over halfway. Stitch everyone up with yeah. their stats, don't they? <laughs> well, here we go then. Is it IFAP yards? <laughs> no, they're real yards. Uh -huh. There was a tackle in the backfield and a second oh. tackle. And Paddy's still on his feet. He's, but he's we've got a flag. So many tackles. He's picked up first down yardage, but there is that flag is in hold territory, isn't it? It is in hold territory. <laughs> All blocking the back. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> There's the flag there at the feet of the referee. Uh, let's just see what the white cap's got to say. So, I don't know if you can hear that there, but on, on, on the previous, when, when Portsmouth went 6 0 down, there was some sort of like negative um, voices from their own team, and we're just hearing a few there from Somerset. Yeah, yeah. You know, they, the running backs in, on both sides are really doing a good job. Yeah. You know, we've got the power runs and we've got the, the outside speed runs, and they're not tackling, it's simple as that. So that now takes them back into their territory or just, just on the cusp? Yeah. That's 
obviously do that. So they got the first down, but now it's first and 25. No, sorry. First and 20. So here we go. 33 rolls the spin again. Good pursuit by number two. Oh, sorry, guys, I didn't move my camera. I didn't zoom my camera out. I was just trying to, ch I need to change the battery for my camera. And uh, I thought I'd set it, yeah. set it up. Sorry. So we've got second down and about 18 now. So two receivers out to the right, single receiver to the left. Wing back comes out and sets up in a slot position. Pass now. Caught by number 12 across the middle. Close to the first down. And it's been given first down. Ball's on the 21 yard line. That's amazing. You yeah. got a first down then when you were just you just took a 15 yard penalty. Yeah. Yeah. Both teams are making those passes into the flats and they're maybe getting a few yards off of the back of it. So. So here we go then. So balls on the 21 yard line. First down, Portsmouth. Because remember they're up 10 to seven. Run up the middle. But like going back to what I think it was Nathan said earlier in the in the game, you think you think they'd be doing all of this power running to set up some form of yeah. pass play, and it's not. It's just not materialised yet. Unless there's like an ace up their sleeve, um, you'd have thought they'd have start spraying on, on, the ball a little bit. On on the previous drive though, we did see the runs up the middle, and then the the naked bootleg by Sam. Yes. So we might see something of that again. So two receivers out to the left, wing back. Sam Scott's back to pass, looking at number 12 again. It's complete, oh, he's taken it down. Touchdown. Wow. So, uh, uh, Charlie yeah. Willie there with the touchdown, Sam Scott with the young pass. Extremely important time to score. As like we said, the next score is, uh, is important that now puts two scores uh, between the two teams 16 6. So 16 to the Portsmouth Dreadnoughts, 6 to the Wyverns, pending this uh, point after kick. So it could be 17. Let's just let's see how this plays out. So going for the single point, Stu Reese is the holder. Sorry about this. Uh, this and point. Stephen Mofop is the uh, kicker. Half distance, you think they might go for two here? They haven't moved the ball. Yeah, I know. The ball can't be there, it's got to be moved forward. Yeah, he's, he's told him, half a distance, yard and a half, that's got yeah. to go. There we go. That's, yep. Yep. Right, let me just zoom out again. So, still looking to kick though. Kicks up. It's good, and it's over the fence. I How's think. White cap. I can't even see her. Ah, oh, missed the mog. I like getting the white cap. Oh, he did it. Yeah, there we go. Arms in the air. Yeah. That, we know that's good. Uh, so we'll add on the the, ex the extra point there. So it's an 11 point game. Yeah. Uh, the uh, the Portsmouth Dreadnought set 17 and the Somerset Wyvern six. Be interesting to see. Uh, if the wife is going to claw their way back here. Yeah. Um, you know. they, they've, they've got the potential to move the ball. They've just yeah. got to make sure they stay disciplined. Yeah, I, and I, I don't think they're outclassed here. Yeah. I, you know, I think it, it, sort of anything can happen. It's just Portsmouth, I think the Dreadnought's not scoring from their opening drive. 
Uh, sorry, the Wyvern's not scoring from their opening drive. Um, sort of come back to bite them here a little bit. Yeah. So the, the ball has been recovered. There is um, there's a sports complex just behind us, which is actually where uh, Portsmouth Football Club trains. Yeah, and they own it now. It used to be called Roco. It used to be Roco, yeah. yeah. But Portsmouth Destroyers used to play here. So here's a kick off. Good drive. Fielded it the eight by 32. Number 11. Oh, it makes the dive. Doesn't get him, but. Um, I don't, know, I don't know the numbers that got enough. I was watching 11 again because yeah. he's, he's been quite decent. Ma the, Malcolm Sakala is, is, a, is a, a very good player. Mm. So I think it was number yeah. 54 here that we see walking off. Yeah. I think he was the next man, but uh, I can't be certain. Yeah. I, re I remember going to a Solent Frasher's training session and Malcolm had um, rented a little, one of those little electric scooters and he's riding along the road with his shoulder pads and his helmet on. <laughs> Going to training. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go then. First down. Ball's on the 31 yard line. So spread formation, single back. Looking to pass, looks to his left, throws up, complete to number 14. So Tom Bowring with the completion there. He had a, a pretty good catch in the first half as well. So single back, number one in the wing back position next to the QB, two receivers to the left. Number zero goes in motion, sets up on the right. Lay on the snap, the laid hand off. Well, still on his feet after taking a couple of hits, but he is he is wrapped up in the backfield. Aldo yeah, Navarro, they had the shot on him, but it's still it's still a run for a loss. So he escaped the first tackle and then ran laterally. So loss of a yard on the play overall. Yeah. So good solid defence by the linebackers for Portsmouth. We've got a different Portsmouth player on the drums now. So here we go then. So that same two receivers, wing back and tail back. Looking to pass to the right, to number 88. Complete for number 88. And that's Tommy Weeks. And what was, who was the tackle? Was it 41? Yeah, 41, the, uh, uh, the tackler on that. Safety. Lucas Keynes with the tackle. He was on him straight so, away. Third down and three. Ooh, we've been here before. Yeah. <laughs> we've got a delay of game. <laughs> yeah, so ball's just over the halfway line. Looks around about the 43 yard line. So, same formation. Two receivers out to the left. Wing back and a tail back. Hands off to 25. 99 out of Wolf Whip. Um, tried an arm tackle on him. Gains of two, fourth and one. Uh, I've just got an update from Russ. Cheaters are three TDs up over the Saints. It's either 20 nil or 80 nil. He'll confirm soon. Okay, thank you for that. So, there's a player down. He's, he's off screen, so you can't see him. But that, yeah. that's why. Um, that, yeah, I was going to say the refs should be blowing the whistles in a second. Um, let's see if I'll see if I can get you some score updates. Uh, Edinburgh Wolves are winning 24 nil over the Merseyside Nighthawks. So we're just waiting while Steve Sonks his, his almanac for yeah. scores. It's just looking at the seat. Uh, someone told me that the other live stream wasn't on, but it is. Yeah. I get that a lot. People messaging me, where's this? Where's that? You just need to look on the YouTube channel. Subscribe yeah. to it and you'll get notifications. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I am trying to get some scores. I can't find any others, uh, but I'll, I'll, I will have a continue to look. So and players up and off the field, so taking it. Now I do an eagle sneak. <laughs> Fourth and one on around about the 40 yard line. So the Kent Exiles are losing 56 nil to the London Warriors in the second quarter. So they still go to the pistol formation. Zero goes across, dive up the middle for number one. The East Kent Mavericks are winning 36 nil over the East Essex Sabres. It's in the second quarter. Uh, Tyler else? Johnson there with the first down carry, number one for Somerset. And the Bristol Apache beating the, the Bournemouth Bobcats 14 0 in uh, the second quarter in their game. I think that's all of the scores. Oh, Norwich Devil 20 to 8. We're winning 20 to 8 over London Blitz B. So that's all the other scores I've got. Back to this game. So here we go then. Sticking that's with the formation, so two receivers to the left, no, one wide out to the right. <laughs> Wingbacks number one and 21's the tailback. Zero goes in motion across the formation, gets the ball, but it's tackled there, oh, 57. Really, really well read by 57. He was he was fighting a block through ben it. Ben Burley Dace, well read. Really, really well played. Loss of three on that play. So second and 13 now. Sorry, I'm just trying to delete or block someone that keeps commenting is idiot. So, again, same personnel. That's the end of the third quarter. Whoa. That went quick. It's been a pretty much a running game. A lot of runs, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, so at the end of the third quarter, as we go into the fourth quarter now, the Dreadnoughts are leading 17 to 6 over the Wyverns. I'm just going to make sure I change the scoreboard this time. So that it does say fourth quarter. There we go. And we, as we just see the, the refs uh, setting up, not too much of a difficult one, is it, this one? Because they were quite close to the halfway line. Yeah. Although I do find sometimes that this, this is one for more errors. You know, the, the two ch stick people don't change position or something like that. Yeah. So, but the mechanic is to make sure that everything's uh, correct. Uh, half time at the Warriors versus Exiles with the Warriors leading 62 nil. That is a running clock game from the third quarter onwards. Yep. You probably expect the uh, Warriors to score probably another 10 or so points in that game. So here we go then. Ball's on the 40 yard line, second down and 13 for the Wyverns. Number 10 to QB, dropping back to pass. Pass to 88. Defender fell down there. Incomplete ruled. Tommy Weeks there, he, he, he made the catch, but it's been ruled out of bounds. So third down and 13 now. So spread formation, bunch to the right. Motion man coming across the field to get to a trips formation. Little bubble screen to 88. Well read by 21 there. Great solo tackle and open field there by 21. Dan Witty there. University of Chichester helmet. Yeah, that's a Spitfire's helmet, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Read that well, the jet motion and the bubble screen there. Well read, good tackle. 
So fourth down and 11 now. Looks like the offense is staying on for this. So Ethan Best, number 10, the QB. What's he going to do? Can he whistle up on this? Look for the bubble screen pass, intercepted by number three. It was just straight to him, wasn't it? I have Yusuf there for Portsmouth. He just, just sort of sat back. Let me see if I can get that on the replay. Sorry, I should have tried that. Nah, of course not. I waited too long. Sorry. <laughs> I need to, I need to uh, get get on that a bit too soon, a bit bit sooner. But um, turnover. Uh, the Wyverns, I think their heads are starting to drop now. They're getting a bit more frustrated. I think the Wyverns are feeling quite hard done by by some of these referee calls as well, more so than Portsmouth. Um, and that was just from chatting to some people at half-time. Uh, uh, the, yeah, there, there's, there's opinions about the, the way of the game, but my, my bottom line as a coach, if you blame the referees for losing a game, you know, then... So, number 28 now with the carry. They're just going to want to... But, yeah, the there, there, there's some interesting calls in the first half, from the way I'll refer to it. Mm. But, but, you know, the call's the call, and you've got to get on with the game, right? Like, yeah. Um, so, but I think that the wider side are feeling, you know, I think, yeah, I think their, their enthusiasm is sort of dipping at the moment. Um, and they need to gain some momentum to yeah. get back in this game. Yeah, a, a good stop or their own turnover. But I think we only had the one interception in the first half for Somerset and this, this interception now. I know there have been a few loose balls, but no, no actual... So Sam Scott with a... Oh. Now this is going to be interesting. Is that what, you, do you think that might be uh, a late hit? Well, the, the ball crossed the line of scrimmage and there was a receiver over there. So it was a, it was a push. But Sam, Sam seems to be okay. Is that big 99 from the D-line of, of the Wyverns? Yeah. So yeah, so, so third down and seven now for Portsmouth on the, after that play. But yeah, Sam was still in the pocket, but he did get the ball across the line of scrimmage. Yeah. So spread formation for Portsmouth, 28 to back. Sam's looking to pass. Caught by number 37. And for a first down. I just, I, I think, I think this, this, this sports of play is just demoralising this, this yeah. Somerset team. Uh, so 37, Lee Ken Ola Daly, there with that completion. I think it's the first time we've called his name today. Mm. But yeah, yeah what, 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 what a time to get a play in. Yeah, you know? like what a crucial time to sort of really try and drive the last few nails yeah. in the coffin here. Um, I, I, I don't think the Wyverns are out of this, but. That, you know they're going to want they're going to want to turn over they want to get the ball back without conceding any points here for to really stay yeah. in the game so it looks like a first down on the 37 yard line steve woods is calling a willy a willy touchdown incoming willy's number 12 for the uh dreadnoughts you can see in their lineup in the tight end position it looks like a delay a game or a, mo a legal motion there which one came first So here we go, motion man, we've got a tight end on the right, high snap, 28 takes it up the middle, solid run, only a gain of about two. So 28, Mike Schneider there with the carry, brings up second and 13. I'm just blocking some more fishing uh, links that keep getting posted. We're getting more popular now. Maybe it's a, a sign of success, maybe. <laughs> it's quite annoying. Uh, but yeah, yeah, please, if you do see any any 
posts for links to games. So in the we've comments. got three receivers to the right, a tight end, sorry, to the left, and a run up the middle. Good solid tackle there by number 59. Sorry, uh, 29. Stephen Hislop. So third and ten now. Still early in the third quarter, fourth quarter, sorry. So we've got trips to the left, tight end number three. On the right, single back. Sam Scott looks to pass, Same over the time. middle to number three. I'm just gonna flash up the Pass was to there. number eight there. Uh, Keelan will be Denham, but two Wyverns there, both saw the ball and probably had a chance of the interception. Flat and collide. themselves. Yeah. <laughs> Watching the ball. Plenty of time for Sam to throw, you know, he, he, yeah. he, did, he, did, he did come out of the pocket, maybe that was just a seam. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, he, yeah, there's some great blocking here by the, um, by the uh, Dreadnoughts O-line. So, fourth down on, on around about the 36-yard line. And they're going for a... Punt. Ah, oh, I thought they were going for a field goal then, I was getting all excited. <laughs> High punt. snap, well fielded, directional. We'll just see where they mark that now. Just wait, is, does the ref stand at the mark? Is that they will do, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's see. So the wing official runs down and then the referee should give him a... What well, about the 12? Yeah. Hard to tell from this angle, isn't it? But... So one of the clues is, is that see the guy with the vest now? He's, he's running up, he's going get to get the clip. So you see the guy with the clip? Yeah. Okay. He's going to put that on the 15-yard line. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. This is one of my secrets. Yeah, yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, no, I get it. So it's, it's, it's that's the 15-yard line. So we're on about the 12 or the 13. Yeah. And the Wyverns are first. It's their first down. Yeah. Um, Ted looks to pass to the outside to number 88. I don't think number 88 got the memo. He was, yeah. he was sort of setting up to he block. Was, he was blocking there, yeah. yeah. Yeah, as I say, when we were at the Oxford game and I, I called the distance from the other end of the field and Tebbs and Kwame said, how can you tell that? And I said, well, I'm looking at where the ball is at that end in relation to the goal. And at this end, I'm looking where the lines are. So yeah, I can, yeah. it's, it's between the six and the 12 yard box. It must be. Anyway, second down and 10. Again, looking to pass. Number one over the middle. Oh, through, oh, Just out of his hands. So again, Ethan Best there, the quarterback throw into Tyler Johnson. So, is, is, is the drumming a, 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 an honour or a sin bin performance for players? So we've got number 99 at the moment on the drums for Portsmouth. What did he do wrong? I don't know. So, third and, sorry, second and ten. Is that third? Bubble screen again. Well read by number 21. That is third. Dan Whitty. That is a third down. Yeah. So, punt, definite punt team in this situation. Yeah. Uh, you might, we might see some pressure from, I think we should see some pressure from the Dreadnoughts rather than trying to field it. Um, or, or play for the return, if you like. Yeah, well, you've still you've still got to keep the receipt the, the gunners honest though. You know, yes. you, you you've got to cover those. So, well, we've got three people in the return. So this they're they're looking for they're not going to send too much pressure. So it's only a six seven man rush there. Punts again. Oh, that's all like rugby style kick. They hit the player. They hit a wyvern player yeah. though. So, down by number 21 there. Steve Woods saying the game's been great. I think you're getting a bit more confident with those sorts of comments when 
<laughs> when the dreadnoughts are, are leading by by two scores. Uh, <laughs> but it has been a good game, I must admit. I, I, it has. Well, I, I think it's starting to get a bit away from the Wyverns now. Which, yeah. Which I don't want it to. I want them to sort of do I, something. I, I'd like them. I'd like them to get some move on. Yeah. So number 53 coming in for Portsmouth. Daniel Hall, but he's wearing a Southampton University. Yeah, Stag's, Stag's helmet, isn't he? Now, 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 I think that's actually probably a loner. Um, Mickey McPhee, Mickey Santiago's a defensive lineman for Portsmouth. Oh, big roll oh, there. Massive hole there. I think, I think he got through and wasn't really sure where to go. I think he was yeah. expecting the... Uh, <laughs> Uh, expecting some contact, didn't get it, and just sort of stuck yeah. steps when he could have just. <laughs> imagine if he'd have just bolted. You know, he could have been, he could have been off to the yeah. races there. But so uh, Mike, Mike Schneider there, great run, like you know, first down run. But uh, yeah. yeah, there was this like odd hesitation and like, how did I get here unscathed? <laughs> yeah. So Mickey McPhee is wearing 51 for Portsmouth. Um, he's a coach at Southampton University. Just recently graduated from there as as a player. I think that 53 is probably borrowing his spare hand. Oh, Bad snap. snap! Sam falls on it. On it. Oh, that, that's going to be a flag. Yep. Yeah, absolutely a flag. It's a little bit of pushing and shoving, but it'll, it'll, it's all handbags. But yeah, um, yeah so the, the, the quarterback dove on that ball and then... Took possession with his knees on the ground, which Air Force is an awesome... Yeah. yeah. It, it, and then the Wyverns player... Oh, we yeah. got a cramp, I think. Oh, we're not. It's not on screen. Yeah. But there's a cramp for the uh, one of the Wyverns players. Yeah. So that 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 should be a first. Well, another first down. But the ball, it will be a first and ten from wherever they move. Well, the, the, the problem there is that the, the the bad snap would have knocked them back 15 yards to yeah. around about the 35 yard line. Yeah. Now it's going to be 15 yards from the previous spot, which means that oh, they're going to be. Called late hit. It's a previous spot. I thought it would be from where the ball no, was no, no. Personal foul was a live ball foul. Yeah. So they go. So they lose all of those yards, and then another half. This, the this is effectively a thirty-yard gain for Portsmouth. Swinging from yeah, crazy. Just because he. He was late, and I don't, I don't think there was an intent in it. Yeah, so the it wasn't a nasty play by that player. He no, just, he just don't. Yeah, you've got it. It's the same with a slide. You know, it's, if if you've committed yourself in the QB slide, what can you do? Yeah, you know, it's still. Yeah, and, and obviously QB's a more protected player. Yeah, yeah like. So the ball's now on around about the 12 yard, 12, 13 yard line. It's first and ten. So first down is possible. Remember, first we're deep possible. into the fourth quarter now. So, Sam Scott with a run, uh, gives the ball to 28. Number 31 there on the outside. The ball does get coughed up, uh, uh, but it was up. Forward progress had stopped and already been, so Richard Howlett there came off the edge really fast with the initial tackle. So, second down now, and looks like still about 10 yards, although or 11, difficult to see from that. So, Sam Scott gets the ball, fakes the handoff, naked roll out to his left, stumbles a bit. And number Great pursuit and tackle by the wide yeah. player there. Number 31, Richard Howlett. Making another tackle. He's, on. he's had a great game. Yeah, he's had a great game. Thirty-one. How yep. for uh, uh, for the Wyverns? We yeah. called his name out. I think every single quarter for one reason or another, he's been fantastic. Yeah, if you're looking at the standouts, I think the his name. You know, uh, number ten, the QB for Somerset's done a pretty good job. Yeah. As I say, I think he's quite a young player. Yeah. Um, Twenty-one as well for them. Yeah. The running back. On the run. Yeah. But number thirty-one is if if I was going to call a player on Somerset sideline. Big rush now. Number two there had an eight. Another two is 
fast and low, but sometimes he's just a little bit too low yeah, and he yeah. lets his feet get out from under him. I think he's eyes down. I think, yeah. he, I think he sort of goes for contact with his forehead or, or even maybe the crown of his helmet. But uh, And that's, yeah, it's just sort of arms out. Head, yeah. head down. If he kept his feet under him, I yeah, think yeah. he'd make more tackles. Yeah, he's fast. He, he leaves his feet, he, doesn't he? Yeah. He's at the player. So here we go then. 31 Fourth Howard, down. Corner sharp. Cheers, Lewis. It's around about the 18 yard line and they're going for a field goal. And, and the other, I think another standout player for the Wyverns, I don't know if I said it, was 21. I don't yeah. think I did say it. He, um, and then number 14 for them as well. 14 has been catching and punting, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that tacks on another three points, uh, and that makes it a, was that a three-score game? Yeah. Four. 20 to six, I so got. Yeah, 20, so it's 14 points. Ah, technically, you could say it's two scores of it's, 16. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll call it two, two touchdowns and con um, conversions, and they can be back in it. Yeah. You see, we're not going to get a time check. It's weird, because the, the game has never been far too far away from the Wyverns all the time they've been trailing, but... I, I just I feel that there's just been a drop in their in, in their yeah. enthusiasm, which is a shame. There's definitely there's still there's still there's still um, some you know good plays being made by them. Yeah. But overall, I think that they're sort of it's like they've uh, what is it? Four, no, six, succeeded, succeeded, pulled out of the game essentially, taking it taking it on the chin as a loss, which is a shame. Yeah. Look, they've, they've, they've still got time to come, you know, make it, like I say, a couple of good drives and they can still, deep kick, number 33 gets the ball nice and cleanly, runs up the middle, breaking out to his left, number 19 there for Portsmouth, Andrew Gayumensa, absolutely fantastic little an ankle tackle there to, yeah, it's quality. Apparently Again, both teams, special teams, they're, they're, their downfield pursuit has been really, really good for both teams, with so uh, very little return yards. Apparently Rich How Howlett is, 30, is 49, there's no way that's right, is it? <laughs> oh, 40, <laughs> Russ correcting himself, yeah. Great open field tackle uh, comment there from uh, Gary Vincent, yeah, absolutely. So here we go then, ball's on around about the 19 yard line for Somerset. Two receivers to the left, one receiver well out to the right on the wide side of the field. Motion man comes across the line of scrimmage. Hand off to number 21, as we were talking about. He's out to the outside. Across halfway line. Great little run. Oh, big run. Right up to, so it looks like he's up to the halfway line for a first 25 down. 25 yard run. Yeah. Nice. What's the clapping for? Is there a significance to this for this player? I think I think he's um number one has just come off reports of getting lots of hugs, got got an ovation from his sideline <laughs> and 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 a, and a hug from the uh, head coach. Hey, and I say Alan has been uh, with the club for many years. I had the pleasure of coaching him. He's a fantastic player. Oh, is, it, is, this, is this his last game or something? I, I, don't, I didn't hear anything pre-game, but... Know, I'll find out. I do know that, that um, Paul Hook has um, made a reappearance for the Portsmouth... I'm trying to find his number. Paul Hook, 79. He's, he's been away from the game for a few years and he's, he said to me at the beginning, hit one more season for him. So, ball's at the 49 yard line. Sorry, 44 yard line. Only a 45, 90 yard field. So, high snap, number five's QB now and 21 up the middle. Good run, solid tackle, so, still on his feet. Run. Oh, this is a broken arm for number 38. Oh, I've got to move away. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> that looked... It looked awful, didn't it? I don't know how he stood up from it. I, I panned away. The, 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 the arm did look... It, it looked broke. Was it his arm, though? It was his arm, yeah. And the way he went down on it... Yeah. Jesus. Okay, right, so... He's okay. Number go. five at QB. Pass over the middle to 81. Uh, 
apologies for any language if you hear that on the stream, obviously. Coaches and players are passionate people. So, second down and 10 from the 31 yard line. Bit of a spark now from Somerset. Let's, let's see them get a good score on the board now. As I say, two touchdowns is the difference at the moment. So, spread formation. Is Number five, Jack Mullins is QB. 21 in the backfield. Good snap, throw out. 88 yeah, yeah. with the catch and 38 swallowed him up. 38 with the rubber arm. Yeah. I don't know how his arm Tommy did that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to watch that back. Joe, Joe Kula, Clulo with the tackle. So, yeah, it did. It looked very strange from up here. <laughs> it reminded me, I don't know if you were a fan of Family Guy, but when there's a common thing when people get injured in Family Guy, they lie down in that position. <laughs> yeah, with the arm back. Right. So, third and nine now. So. Uh, no gain. Uh, Spread formation, yeah, number five. Down, Bad snap over his head. He's got it up. Picks it up, dusts it off. Get sacked. Number three with the sack there. He's still on his feet. <laughs> He's not going down, is he? Yeah. Oh, there's a flag. They're fighting. Uh, so motion was stopped there, and yeah, we'll see what the some, penalty is. Some, some afters, a flag on the play. So. It was a bad snap. Number five picked it up and was looking to throw. Number three for Portsmouth there was got some pressure. Ayub Youssef. Portsmouth destroyer's helmet. So he just got promoted to the Prem in the recent uh, Buck season. Mm. So good luck to them next year. Oh, I just got rained on. Yeah, there is a there is a cloud over to Ooh. our left, <laughs> our right. Sorry. Oh my God! Yeah. All right, hopefully yeah. uh, we can get out before he starts pissing it down. <laughs> <laughs> so. So it, was, so it was on the QB. sportsman-like conduct on by five. Somerset. Yeah, number five. By Somerset. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so number, that's the head coach, apparently. All yeah. oh, right. And, uh, so, 15 yards from the end of the play. Yeah. Can you count that up? It's on the 38 yard line. And it's got to get 10, to the 15, 20, 20 25, roughly 30, 21. 35. 41 yards. They, they've, so lost, it's they've lost fourth and 41, and they're going yeah. for it. And he's and, punting. And he's hooched it. So, takes a good bounce. It's going to roll down to about the 15. Yeah. Nice. Picked up there. Good special teams there from the Wyverns. Yeah. And they were able to disguise it with their QB uh, punting it. That was good. That, that's that's the, really pinned. It's, it's really turned the field. I, I was, be, before that, bad snap. Again, as we've said before, good position, bad snap. Um, I, I was looking for the Wyverns to score on that drive. Yeah. Yeah, they were looking good. <laughs> yeah. They were right in front of us. <laughs> so, new QB in for Portsmouth. Did you get his number? I can't, I can't make it up. He's, he's, he's right, number nine. Number nine. Sebastian Gallardo. Another solid carry there by number 28, Mike Schneider. He's had a good game when he comes on. So we're approaching that point now. I think we're going to need to start talking about the, the, the players. Obviously, we've, we've had a good discussion earlier about the uh, Wyverns, and there, is, there are some standout players. Well. <laughs> you know, they've all done a fantastic job. And... Both teams have suffered from penalty and, you know, a little bit of indiscipline. Another carry by number 28. 
Not quite enough for the first down. That's all he needs to keep doing, though, yeah. isn't it? What, you third down and two? Yeah, he came three yards on the first two plays. Good for the, good for the next one, you know? Like. Oh. But yeah, standout players on the Portsmouth side. We've seen some really good defence. Panda number 50. Oh, awesome. Um, number 21, um, reading some of those sweet plays and the bubble screens. Yep. But for me today, the running game's been the, the, the key for Portsmouth. It's um, their breakout plays and the game changes have been running plays. Yeah. That, like, that's, been, that, yeah so that's been the difference. We've got a flag on the play. So, so, yeah, obviously, I don't think any more important than the... Ah, oh, what was it? Second quarter, huge run down from right in front of yeah. us. Um, and a shout out to the O line and, and to Sam Scott. He, he, yeah, he was the blocking lead, on that. The, lead the, the blocks, the blocks were awesome, on that were fantastic. Yeah. It was a great play. But, but that was the. I think. Yeah. Looking back at it now, that was sort of the. That was when the game changed. Yeah. Um, and, and that's why today's MVP, Sport Tank MVP, is number thirty-three, Paddy Chapman. Yeah. Uh, Nathan said. Um, Pompey 33 or Wyvern's 31. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I, 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 I don't disagree. I think I think if you were to call a Wyvern's MVP, I think 31's a good show. We, we, we said that at the beginning. If we, if if we were, were doing both sides of the ball, yeah. to be fair, then yes, 31 for... So, Richard Howlett for Somerset Wyvern's. Yeah. We'll, we'll give him... We'll you give know. him a recognition. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's properly raining now. Mm. So, Gallardo, oh, great block in there. Oh, on a solid hit. Smashed over uh, uh, the, the defender and definitely picks up more than two yards on that Number play. 32 was there was absolutely play. demolished and, and that's great. Good oh, pick. there it is. We got it straight on yeah. the street. He absolutely and rolled him. Really, really good there. 32 got up and shook hands with uh, 28. Um, Did he? <laughs> yeah, so... Good stuff. But yeah, so here comes Gal Gallardo again. Yeah. Do you know where Gallardo's played before? No, it's a new name for me. Um, I, I, I can't tell you anything about him, you know. Other, other players here I've got experience of, so. Yeah, I don't recognise him from anywhere, but. So, two receivers to the left. Schneider still at the back. Gallardo takes the ball, gives it to Schneider. Schneider knocks over 29. <laughs> This is the same player. Yeah, no, last time. It was 32. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah. he's limping off 29. But oh, he's had to go down. Let me just. I, 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 I think it looks like an ankle, <laughs> doesn't it? it no, like ankle. I think it's probably. Um, there was a solid contact between the two of them. Oh, there. Do you think it's the contact that's done it? Yeah. He's. Look, look. Uh, we're, we're about to receive a, a moisture. I, I, oh, oh no, annoying. Rain inbound. Rain, rain, rain arrived, not rain inbound. Yeah. <laughs> um, to, to be honest though, as long as it doesn't come down too heavy, I'm, not, I'm going to enjoy no, it. No, yeah, I'm more out of a little bit of rain. Yeah. I'm my kit getting soaked. <laughs> yeah, that's... <a laughs> I've been kit, my equipment. Yeah. This <laughs> electronics that are bringing you this live stream in near enough real time. Taking this injury break to um, enjoy some Haribo yeah. provided by the Portsmouth sideline, yeah, particularly trying to Sam Scott. Up, trying to yeah. us up. Uh, so Other sweets are available. Yeah. <laughs> got, Although, um, we, if you want to sponsor us, Haribo, yeah, we, uh, yeah. <laughs> we'll just keep talking about them. Uh, just looking at the uh, scores that have been posted Northumberland Vikings in second quarter, a 20 0 up over the La Lancashire Wolverines. I bet this is really, I bet this rain's lovely for the players. Yes, yeah. it's yeah. Like, ideal. So yeah, so I need to cover some of this, I think. So he's up on his feet, walking off. As I say, he looked a little bit unsteady, but that was just the um, obviously the ankle. He's up and he's fine, heading off to the sideline. So second down and nine for Portsmouth. Haven't seen the two-minute warning being called, but nah, they got to do it. <laughs> And off to 28. Oh, he dances a little bit. Stays on his feet. Gains another few yards. Oh, the rain's getting too heavy now. It's annoying me. 
number two there for Somerset, he, 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 he avoided the shoulder contact from number 28, but as he, as he ducked himself to make the tackle, an offensive lineman cleared him out. <laughs> oh, Dan Thomas has just said, um, Gallardo played uni ball for the Chichester Spitfires. Cheers, Dan. Yeah. Appreciate that. Thank you. Normally we get a clue because they wear the same helmet summer yeah, and yeah. winter. More Haribo. <laughs> Oh, what a catch. <laughs> he just got thrown some more Harry Bow there yeah. on the ports of sideline. So here we go then. Third and about seven. They've been very accommodating to us. They've been awesome. 28 with a number oh, two a great tackle. tackle. Two. He came in from the edge. Didn't yeah, he? off the edge. And it was a, to, so he came off of the right edge and made the tackle as the play was going away from him to the de defensive left. So fourth down now. So we're just trying to find some cover for our. Uh, can I put it on here? Just want... I'm trying to just dress our uh, our equipment here. Oh, the camera's not so bad. It's more this. Cheers, Mike. Mike's lent me his coat, like a. Uh... <laughs> Well, no, okay. normally, I, I, regardless of the weather, I'd put my um, umbrella in because it acts as a sunshade. Two minute warning then, there, guys. Number two, Sean Tapping used to be a free safety for the Wyverns. He's a great speed, great speed at linebacker. He still is for the Wyverns. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we, we've got a pump, pump formation here. Two minute warning. Fucking yeah. rain. Sorry, I shouldn't swear. <laughs> It's raining. All snapped. Teb's promised a pound in the box, so you you got to uh, put yeah. a pound in the box. I load I load the box up then if there's a. So, uh, no, the, it, just got floored, just laid there, but he's all good. Yeah. Still on his feet, yeah, running to the left there, number walking. thirty-two. Nice running there for number thirty-two. It, it's, it's a little bit confusing because there's a rugby line, or a, a brown line running down yeah, the field. I don't know why they've painted this blue when the only lines are the only lines. Are oh, blue like it's not like there's multiple lines painted. <laughs> Why not just paint it all white? I I believe that they used to have the field closer to the clubhouse, and we probably had to paint it blue. And they probably the, they still got blue. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's what they thought American football yeah. gets painted in. Well, they don't like extra white lines for their rugby fields. So, so here we go then. So number five is it QB? We've got flags being... No flags, just a whistle. Sorry, a whistle's being blown. I was going to say flags being blown. That's yeah. And I'll stop myself. The whistle's being thrown, yeah? Yeah. They're throwing their whistles. <laughs> They're blowing their flags. <laughs> uh, so we're well, first and I, I have seen it, and you see it in the NFL as well. People, they, they throw with their beanbag instead of a flag. Desperation. Oh, nearly caught by number 14. Throw off the back foot by the quarterback number five there. Looked like it was going to go to nothing. And 14 had a chance. So second and 10 now. Ball's on about the 32 yard line. Gone down with a cramp for the, he's not yeah. on the screen, but he's just gone down yeah, with a cramp. <laughs> Thank you, he'll have to come off because of the, the stoppage, yeah. but uh, I don't think, it's, it's nothing serious, just a yeah. cramp in his leg. Lack of hydration. Yeah, yeah. yeah you should come and see me. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, where's my thing that I dropped? Oh, it's still there. Yeah, still. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you didn't drop it. It, 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 it was blue. Yeah. Oh, there's another another spammy person. Me and my head in. Everyone, you can see people there taking a knee for their yeah uh, for their teammate. So just again, we'd um, uh, shout out to AEI Scaffolding for providing this lovely tower today. Sturdy. Uh, yeah, solid. We've got our chairs up here. We've got our yeah, table. Yeah. This is the biggest platform we've ever had. Yeah, it's and awesome. it is, it's, it's, it's taking my weight and not wobbling. So it's very, very <laughs> good. So thank you for them for providing, providing that to Portsmouth uh, Dreadnoughts. The Pelham Pub for sponsoring Portsmouth Dreadnoughts. Uh, and obviously all the other people behind the scenes and that, that uh, assist with getting these games on. The chain crews, obviously, volunteers, ball persons, our referees. It's going to take on the tournament for the return game. And Sam Morning Scott more. giving us Haribo. 
So here we go then, a run play up the middle. Oh, he's got another spammy comment. Killing me. Looks like number 26 then with the carry. No, 25 with the carry. For a, so third down and four now. We've got cloud coming in from behind us where the, where the sun was, so dropped a few degrees. It's a, it's a very, very light drizzle. I'm it's under, actually quite cooling. I'm now underdressed. Yeah, it's actually, it's actually quite nice. <laughs> so here we go then. Man in motion across the formation. High Ooh. snap again. QB bats it. And I think Portsmouth have recovered that. Let's, let's see if the QB gets another penalty for himself here. <laughs> dropping his elbows and knees on players. Mickey Santiago there with Mickey McPhee. With the recovery on the fumble there. Just what the Wyverns didn't need. Of course, you know. another big shout out to Mickey. He's a very good friend of mine. He came to England to study after serving in the US Navy as a medical corpsman for a US Marine detachment that served in Afghanistan. Right. So when, when he left the service, they obviously paid for him to get a, an education and he chose to come over to England. Um, and. He, he, he's now, having graduated, he now works for the, the NHS uh, in Portsmouth. And uh, he's looking to set up a permanent home in England now. So, nice. him with the recovery there. That recovery looks like a tight him. formation. Uh, so, it looks like Portsmouth are taking the knee after that. Yeah, all shaking hands. And that's, uh, oh, sorry, I haven't got it on stream, but could be panned away for the injury. But, yeah. yeah. That's, uh, that's game. Yeah. Uh, and that's a very excited Portsmouth sideline. You can see there, this, me this win means a lot to them. It was a big game. <laughs>